Ready to go? There it is. Welcome back to Mic'd Up. It's Monday, January 31st. Big weekend from this weekend. Friday was legal mobile betting. It whooped my ass. I think it whooped all of our asses. It was a it was a Got grind. Me. I was sweating through it. We have an unbelievable show for y'all today. We got obviously talking about betting. The hooks will get you every single, single time. time, right? Got we me. Talk got about got, got him, him, got me, got him, got him, I got him. Line. No, I had money on. No, no, money didn't line. get him. Got me, got Jay, got Lloyd. Maybe got me. <laughs> Lloyd's still alive for his futures. We're talking to talk a little time traveling. Unbelievable. A little time traveling. Thank you, think, Thank you Matthew think, Stafford. Uh, I think time traveling is a real thing. We got time yeah, traveling coming. It. Joey being the boys. How do you know my head is cut off? What are we doing? I know. Oh, no. new, new camera. There we go. There we go. There there we go. go. I'm back. I'm wow. back. It's real time. We got. We got. Time right there. <laughs> we got Joey being the boys. Joey B is just proving to everybody he is that guy. I mean, he is in the Super Bowl two years in. Brady retiring. Schefter cup hold him. <laughs> <laughs> we got. We got Rams 49ers. We got LSU baseball. Cruise missiles are getting launched already. Interest. Boy, this is Did gonna be a fun stop? show. Did huh? they ever stop or they never stop, but you know, like sometimes you gotta go. Sometimes you that Tennessee ball land. <laughs> sometimes you get home. Sometimes you get home, you get a little break, sometimes you gotta do a little I don't know if they did though. I think he I left and went home for the break and they were yeah, still launching. They just, just keep still launching. Flying. Just, they just never stop. Direct direct hits too. It's, with the guys it's unbelievable. Let's get to the betting though. Let's get to the betting. I know a lot of our picks did not really um do great. Uh, Speak for yourself, too. Jack's over there five and zero. Yeah, Jack. Oh, Jack, you went four and zero. You're the big winner. Me, you're the big winner. You didn't, you didn't bet much on the football, but you bet you're you're the NBA. There guy. were a lot of rat poison, though. I was just like, <laughs> okay. I was looking at that Niners game. Like, okay. I have no clue what's gonna happen. I should have done Cooper Cup one hundred five. We said it out loud. We did say it out loud. We said Cooper Cup one hundred five. The fact that they set a line at one hundred five shows how good he is, and he. We crushed it. it. He smashed he it. He crushed it. It wasn't even. You didn't even have to sweat it, right? He was freezing, guys. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Say, guys, nasty. I'll tell you what saved me was the fact that you could live bet since mobile betting was live yeah. and you could live bet. So Ooh. my initial bets did not do great. The three and a half. Rams were losing. I went, hey, you know what? I think they're going to win. I went money line, halftime money line for them to win, right? So that helped. I had three and a half. The hook, half gotcha. point hook got me. So they won by three, didn't get it. Before the game started, I said, you know what? I need to bet something before this game. I... I was so high on the Joey B win. Like, I'm like, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, shit. The game's about to start. Let me make my picks. I had George Kittle touchdown. What? Beast. What? Yeah. <laughs> I had I had Rams yeah. under 20 and a half points win. What? <laughs> I went Rams minus three and a half. <clears throat> but I also went Rams at halftime. Money line. I had a feeling they're going to come back and win. And they won. What right? did you see in that? Why did you want to go? I just, I just, I was just not sold on. I just wasn't offense. sold on the Niners' offense. I felt like they had scored ten points. I felt like not sold on the Jimmy G. I just wasn't sold on Jimmy G. I just wasn't. So I just thought right. I was more sold on Stafford. I was sold on. I thought OBJ was gonna come. I thought they just yeah. kind of figured some stuff out, and they did. Brings me to my next point. Right, everybody's talking about how Kyle Shanahan owns McVay, and he did. He has five and zero. Right, their last five games, he's like they lost five or six straight games to McVay. I can. I'm gonna look at my exact numbers, but the last three or four playoff losses that Kyle Shanahan has had, right? Ooh, I heard this stat. He has been outscored Ooh. 53 to nothing in the fourth quarter. Wow, I heard this 53 to nothing Man. in the fourth quarter. Hey, bro, that's not good. That's hard to believe. They got wow. outscored 13 nothing oh. last Jeez. night or uh, by the Rams. They got outscored by. I got it on here somewhere. Actually, you know what? I got on my, tw- on my, tw- my Twitter. I got on my Twitter. Like 14 in the Super Bowl and that. Outscored. Rams yeah, outscored them 13 nothing in the fourth quarter last night. R- Chiefs outscored them 21 nothing in 2019. Oh. Patriots outscored them 19 nothing in 2016. All three losses, 53.0 points for the 49ers. That's not good. Not good at all. That's not for the Niners either, though. That, the other one was. Was the other one for the, the uh, Falcons before he bounced? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But still, like, no, 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 still, yeah, still, yeah, still his offense. Great, but, yeah, yeah. but no, he's literally doing the same thing he was doing. Dude, there. but like, he's great. He's a, yeah. I think he's a great coach. I think he schemes up great. Debo Samuel's a monster. He uses Debo Samuel better than any coach I think Toodles. would be able to use him. But when you get to the fourth quarter, well, that's that's the money time, bro. That's the time that you're supposed to say, hey, you know what? 
This is when I this is when I make my money. This is when I separate myself, and he's going opposite. And you know, even 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 with McVay getting owned, even with McVay being Coach Klein and him being red from mm-hmm. the Water Boy, Coach Klein finally saw the puppy dog face and said, "I'm gonna figure this thing out." Playbook back, figured it out, <laughs> finally beat him, took him out. Good for Matt Stafford. Well, he almost whatever. lost. Tart didn't catch that interception. Bro, hit him in the chest. Hey, How does that happen? I don't, man. I don't know. What do you even say? I like some Matt Stafford, but he, he he annoys me when he just. Well, and listen, like, like, like he just. But where is he? You're gonna get burned. He First likes ball, to throw it to the other team every now and then. Where is he throwing the ball? One. I don't know if like I don't know if the ball if his if his little hurt or something. Too risky. They were talking man. on the broadcast like, man, is is Matt Matt Stafford may not be 100 percent like that ball's. Was Not anymore. Yeah, close. It was a duck. The guy's backpedal. It was so much a bad punch. The guy's the guy's backpedaling and clanked it. Never clanked seen him catch it. Clanked it. That's it's literally it. plays like that while they're, while they're like, hey, look, that's why you're a DB and not a receiver mm-hmm. because you just never see receivers miss balls like that. Except unless you're uh, Trayvon Dix. <laughs> that guy catches everything. Everything. Every one. Because he was a receiver. So, I mean, there you go. There you go. What, uh, what other bets did you have? You had the NFL. You bet. What did you do? The hooks. The hook got me. you, right? The, the hooks hook got you. me. What else did I have? I had the. I lost the. I won. No, no, no. I won the. Fumble. Um, Fumble. Fumble. Fall down. I did. Cool. I did take the Rams in that game, though. Money line. Yeah, took the money line Rams in that game, so I didn't win nice. that. Nice. But the hook got me on that one as well. Oh, uh, well, and I, I took was... the under Good. in the. I took the under in the first game, which I so I, if I remember this correctly, I took what the under. You? Wait, I took the under, and we went into overtime where it was a touchdown. What I would have won. They trade field goals. What if they traded field goals, and then the next score wins? I would have lost because that's, uh, that's where that's where yeah. that's where the, the, the number was. Score. I was like, oh my god! I was like, please just give me a touchdown. If they trade field goals, I lose I because nice, the next score is gonna have to win it. I lose. I had a nice little parlay going there. I need the I need the over fifty four and a half, and I'm thinking to myself. At one point, I'm like, oh, this is gonna hit. Then I'm like, oh, this is not gonna hit. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, oh, it's overtime. It's gonna hit. I kind of thought get the ball touchdown. Hopefully it was Joey B touchdown. We win the game. Does not happen. I kind of thought I was screwed in the first half because there was a pretty high score in the first half. I was like, if this goes anything like the first yeah, right. half, I'm out. It's over. Then, then Joey beat them, get the ball back, and I'm like, oh boy. And then they start running, right? Well, here's the other thing. So, in game, I had Joey B over attempts, passing attempts. <laughs> 38 and a half. <laughs> what did he have? Hook, line, and 38. Hook, 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 Right? Then That's I went. Cool. How do they do this? Cool. So then I went. So then I was like, okay, we're going to overtime. And all my all my opportunities. So he had he needed three three passing attempts in overtime. Had two. Right? I had <laughs> I had T Higgins. Uh, I had. Hey, who would have said Jay? Joey's just gonna throw it two times. I'm like, right? he's gonna, he's gonna like, easy throws, like whatever, like whatever. Okay? <laughs> then I had T Higgins over five and a half catches. Hit it. In overtime, big catch. Yeah. That was the reason why he didn't throw it yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. Too far. Yeah. Then he started handing the ball off to Mixon. I'm like, Mixon's gonna break one. I was like, that's what I was holding. Mixon's yeah, gonna break gonna it through, it. score a touchdown. Over's gonna hit. Joey B's gonna win. I'm gonna go home happy, and I'm gonna bet a bunch of money on the next game, and I'm gonna go home with some money. Did not happen. I was chasing my money. Got my money back. I, 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 I still lost some money. Not a lot. Not as much as I could have lost. I pretty much broke even. I uh, didn't break even, but I, I, I was a lot better than I was before uh, the George Kittle touchdowns and the. All that I think. Stuff. Did you see the fan? Uh, yes, fan duel. It was the star super boost. It was a Debo Samuel touchdown, a George Kittle touchdown, and I think a Cooper Cup, and it was plus nine hundred or something. Well, like, all, those, all those fan duel plus. Hit. hit. How much, did money, how much did money did all these betting services lose this weekend? Oh, the, if they're in uh, Louisiana, Louisiana, they got Louisiana. smacked. Louisiana. They got smacked. All those super did y'all see the one random bet? The one random twenty dollars free bet? That's oh. what we're about to get to. Yeah. The time travel. The time travel. Do the hey, he traveled time. There's no way you get that. Can we just say this, bro? That guy, whoever that person is. Is either never missed in life and has been lucky with everything, oh, or he's been way, right? no. unlucky with yeah, everything yeah, yeah. and he finally hit something. Like that is man, zero. There's no one in the middle of that. This man put twenty dollars free bet, twenty dollar free bet on the exact scores on both games. Both games like, hits them both. He wow. had one hundred eighty thousand dollars. Twenty dollars free bet. $20. What are you doing with that? Uh, what what do I think this score is going to be? Five hundred thousand right in the pocket. I'm going to keep about fifty k in my account and I'm going to take all the rest off. Yeah, Wait, the was, rest it Jer- was it not Jared Foster? <laughs> Jerry Foster. Had Jerry a good Foster. One. He did not. Jerry, Jerry's not putting that on there. He, had, he verbally told me it was that was the, similar to the he was, it was the Duke A and M game, and it was New Year's Eve and we're eating in New Orleans before we're going out. This was probably I don't know whenever Manziel was there at A and M. 
and Duke was beating him by like 21 points. And we were watching the game, and Jerry's looking at him. He's like, oh, I think the, I think the, I think the Aggies are gonna win 48-41. Stop. I'm like, Dude, those are like 21 points. Look terrible. It's like, no, they're going 48-41. Okay. Jerry, go back to bed. We go out, red eye, hammered, <laughs> looking at the bar, 48-41. Texas A&M wins. I'm like, holy shit! Did you put any money in? Nah, I didn't. I didn't hey, put any money. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? That's at halftime too. Yeah. What, what was the yeah. final scores of these guys? Could you imagine before? You know, I think it's pretty bad. Mm, here's the final scores, dude. Before, <laughs> before happening, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Bengals. I'm gonna take the Bengals to win. Whatever this. What was the final score? Uh, whatever the final score. Was. 27, 24. Yeah, that sounds right. 27, 24. Bengals. Yeah. 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 Then he goes, oh, you know what? I'm gonna take the Rams to win 20 to 17. Like. How? What? what are the chances? What are the chances? Good for that guy. He needs to be in an interview. Good for that guy. He does. Someone needs to go find him. Do you know how bad you have to be down to be able to be like, you know what I'm going to start getting into? It's predicting the scores to games. The real, like he's gambled on everything else. Tell you, time the real question is, time how, how, much time do you, how much is he sweating the entire second game knowing that he just hit that first yeah. one? Being like, oh, this one's right. You know, There's no way I'm going to hit the second one. But maybe. Gee, when he turns like, and then you watch that game. and it, like, There's no way he's just not. You see Jimmy G throw that interception. Oh my god. That should have been caught, to be honest with you. It was the Max yeah. Johnson oh, guy. It was the Max Johnson I mean, you can't tell me that ball should Jimmy. Oh, so it happens when you're Jimmy. out of life. I mean, it's, it's a last ditch effort. He had to get rid of it. I don't care. But catch the ball. Jimmy, what are you doing? I mean, he was Who too. Who else like, are you off on? Oh, you're big. Dude, speaking of Jimmy. Great case for I'm you. Not, I'm not really off on Jimmy. No, no, no. I just don't think Jimmy I was going to say for Baker Mayfield, Odell having a oh, over 100. Bro, I'm, oh, I'm, we talked about it. We talked about Jesus. it. Jesus. How good did he look? I swear, if, look, if we could just walk Baker and Kevin in here right now, I'd be like, hey. Hey, sit down. Come on. Now, don't sit down. Just sit on over. Daddy's lap. Put your belt loop right here, and I'm just going to whip the shit out of you because I'm <laughs> Bro, tired of this, man. Odell still got it. Yeah. Come on, man. Like, this doesn't even make any sense. He's not even 30 years old yet. I don't even care if he would. I don't even care that he's doing what he's doing right now, but for you to go to be literally non existent to this is and just then, and then not, pathetic. On not, only, side, not only is he non existent, they're trashing him in the media, talking about how he's a bad teammate. And then he gets here, and he's a great teammate. He's like, Cooper Cuff's the guy. I'm okay being the number mm-hmm. two guy. And he's a mother, he's a great fucking oh, two yeah, guy. Number two. He's a hundred. That even make, like, it's just ridiculous. I'm just like, come on, man. Dude. He's going to be a free agent. You he's going back. Bro, back? He's if, going if back. Here's, 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 here's the difference. He's he's going going here's, how, here's how you look at it. LA's his place. How, LA's as, as far as for you, like putting a Born roster for together, LA. Huh? how different Born is LA than Cleveland? Roster-wise. They're not really, right? They both put together like star-studded rosters yeah. and you're like, how do you got all these dudes on this? How are you paying all these dudes? Cleveland don't even finish at 500 and they're in the Super Bowl. Why? Because we just, you know, we're, we're about winning over here. As Odell could do is the cancer. Here's the cancer. Oh, yeah. Let me just go. Let me go. Let me go back to, let me go to LA and let me make it to the Super Bowl for the first time in my career. Yeah, I'm the cancer. If I was a cancer, you think that was going to happen? No shot. Get out of here with that. But back to Joey. We didn't talk. We were talking about betting. I want to talk about Joey. This man is a assassin. Stone cold killer. Killer. Rocking the Nike JB chain. And someone had the nerve to say, hey, Joey, are those That's real good. diamonds? <laughs> and Joey looks at him dead straight in the face says, I make way too much money for these not to be real. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what do you think, motherfucker? You think I'm just wearing some fake ass diamonds on this field? Get out of here, dude. Nobody's- Joey B. Nobody's putting themselves in that position when you got when you go one one your first overall pick. I don't have it, that. I'm not wearing CZs out to the game, dog. If I'm wearing this outside of my shirt, it's real. Like, hey, he like makes thirty six real. Like what you're wearing is real. Hey, he's vibing. He makes thirty six million. He is, he is a super star. star. The way yeah. he no, no, no. no, 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 no. Literally, what, what he wore, nobody wears that unless nobody. you're. Did you like? Did you see what Von Miller wore after the game? Nobody wears stuff like that unless you're a what? Superstar. 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 No because doubt. you look at him, you're like, well, I mean, he yeah. makes enough money. What you gonna tell him? I right. can't tell him shit. But then, but then he wears it. and He looks good doing it. It don't matter. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if it look bad. It yeah, look at look at Russ. Look the at Russ. The fact that you put it on and walked out of the house in it lets me know yeah. you're what. I look good for real. You're a superstar. You're a super, I don't glasses, care. It doesn't matter. Dude, he is the he is the, the sweaters. Oh how awesome God. is it? How awesome is it? It's that the Magic Johnson dads. and it's the Magic Johnson and like walking into the forum where he's got the yes he's got yes the, the coat on. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. an all time moment. Like for you. dude, it's just that and that's that's the definition of a superstar. Someone who can go there and he's transcendent, right? He has no matter he what he does, it's cool. Yeah, he he kind of has that vibe to him. He doesn't try to do it, but he does it. And it's yeah. like this guy is. And he knows how to pick it. Like he knows how to be look, very. He's witty. calculated, dude. Everything he does. A serial killer. Is a cal- he's, he is an assassin. Assassin. He is an ass- not a serial killer. He's an assassin. Serial killers are like weirdos, right? They want to kill people. Assassins are 
hey, I'm so good at what I do that nobody's going to know that I'm killing this just person. Just precision. And I'm just getting, exactly, just precision. very precise. An assassin. Did you get nervous during the game? I'm not going to lie. In the first half, I was like, oh, Oh, uh, I did, but I'll tell you when I, I'll tell you when I did. Whenever they, it was, uh, it was only 11 points, or it was, right? They were down, how many, was, how much were they down? Was it, were they down 21 to 3 at one point, or was it? It was 21 3 at one point, but and they it scored. 10 to 21. It was 21 10. Yeah, 21 3, 21 10. And, and then they half, scored, right? they scored yeah, 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 yeah. 21 10 and a half, right? Or was it 21 3 and a half? I want to know. It was 21 10 and a half. All right, so when they scored a touchdown, I was like, 11 points, they can do this, come out there. Hey, bro, we've got to talk about the defense. Kansas City yeah. scored three points. That's Unbelievable. Like After going, they started the game three off with three straight touchdowns, and then they yeah, get into the To hell with the defense. You might as well just start talking about Mahomes. We've been giving him his fruits. Yeah, We've give been me. giving him his Talk fruits for me. a while now. Talk to him, Jay. Let me hear it. We've been giving him his fruits for a while yep. now. We, we can go ahead and be honest about it. Like, he, he lost that game for He him. made some plays in the first half. Great. He lost that Not game Not so for much him. the second half. He lost, hey, the, the, the second the, half? Let's just talk about how you ended the first half. Oh, yeah. We didn't talk Bro, about you're that. kicking the win instead of kicking the tie if you don't do some stupid shit at the end of the first half. We didn't even talk about that. They got stopped at the half yard line. At half the, it was such a bad, it was such a bad situation that I looked at the thing. I'm like, oh my god, it's halftime. What are we Bro, doing? Bro, can, can we just can, wait? Can we just break that down to the fundamentals of it? Like, if you really think about it, we have the ball. I don't even remember what down it was, but we're inside the three. There's five seconds left on the clock, right? Mm -hmm. There's a coach in your ear until there's 15 seconds left. Somehow we they obviously passed on it because they said, hey, you know, Patrick should know this. And I, my part, my, I think he just got a little arrogant, man. Like, you're on the five, you're inside the five. There's five seconds left. Everyone in the world knows you've got no timeouts left. One, he doesn't throw the ball into the end zone. Two, after the play, he's calling timeout if they show him. You got no timeouts, bro. What, what, no timeouts. what are you doing? No so timeouts. One, you, one, you didn't Technical. even realize, hey, I can't be this arrogant and throw it and say, oh, Tyreek's going to shake the world and yep. get in the end zone. Bro, throw the ball in the end zone. If there's nothing there, throw it away. You kick the field goal, we're good. He didn't do that. Then he didn't call. Then he started calling timeouts. Like, how do you not know you don't have any timeouts? Chris Webber. Yeah. With no time. Also, also. Chris Webber's not a quarterback, so no. we can't even call no. it the same no, thing. No, I'm just I saying, need my quarterback to know. They made it. They comment on the, the who was calling the game. Is it Joe Buck and uh, uh, I think it's Tony. No, no it's Tony, Tony Romo, Tony, 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. They're Romo, baby. Like, hey, Tony's like. He's calling times. They don't need times. You gotta know that. You gotta know the situation. Yeah. That's, That's the situation. my point. You know the situation. I, then end of the game, running around like a crazy person, fumble. 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 He got away with it a couple of tried times. Because well, he tried to freestyle too much. Then he got burned. Then he got yeah, burned. What you, what what you saw in the second half is literally why they went on like that four or five game yes. losing streak. You do yes. too much? Just got to look so yes. arrogant, man, bro. Just play the game. Just play inside the scheme. Also, also, and this goes to me being <clears throat> for my bets. I bet the LSU, <laughs> I bet the LSU parlay. Parlay right? of the day. I need parlay of the day. You get a lot of money. I need Clyde to score a touchdown. I need Jamar to score a touchdown. I need Odell to score a touchdown, right? Hey, man. Clyde's getting eight yards a pop. You're on the three <laughs> yard line. He's people. not even in the fucking game. He's not even playing. You're giving the ball to McKinnon. And you're throwing this. Give it to this motherfucker. He's gonna hide behind the line of scrimmage. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get the three yards. I can promise. He was shocking people. Mm -hmm. He was absolutely. He field. had he had an Alabama. He had an Alabama moment. Yeah. He field. had a, he when he had a, he had a two yard <laughs> run or a one yard run. He made it five. He lowered his shoulder and he carried he, the power for five six yards. I'm like, yeah. Get this guy in the goal line. Why? I don't understand why he wasn't playing. I don't know either. I don't know either. But I want to go back to what y'all were talking about with the Mahomes and what they, what you talked about whenever they're on, what the goal line on at the end of the first half, mm -hmm. and they, he talked about it like in the post game. He's like, Andy Reid said, "I have a read to Tyreek Hill, or I, or I have to throw it away." He goes, "I force, like I force fed it, like I was trying to score a touchdown there when I know that the game plan was either." It has to be an absolute touchdown or throw it away. And he's like, I thought I could like score a touchdown there. And that is the Kansas City Chiefs in a nutshell. Like, if they score a touchdown there, game over. They absolutely get to go down. Before halftime. Yeah. Yes. Four straight trips, four straight touchdowns. Wow. Instead, Eli Apple, who has been very much maligned in the media and is making his headway Eli against Apple. Tyreek yeah, Hill. Yeah, yeah. Eli Apple. And, um, he did make a couple big plays. Yeah, no, but that's the biggest play Chopped of the game. Pick. Like, yeah. if, if, that tackle. if the Chiefs score there, it's game over. It's 28 like yeah. that's four but, straight but, trips to the but, end. But here's why that bothers me though, because like you threw that ball out there as if it was like Tyreek on the linebacker, bro. It's a cornerback, man. Yeah, like, right. Bro, right. I, he I can catch him to make that tackle, yeah. man. Like, right. you, like, come on, man. Right. What are you doing here? And if, if he doesn't make it the wasn't actual, a, put it like this, it wasn't a lineup. It wasn't a mismatch. You threw it at, acting as if like it was a mismatch, and he was just going to get. I think three, Tyreek's four. a mismatch on everybody. It mm -hmm. not like that. Though. But but not like that. I get what you're saying, but not like that. You you didn't have enough room. He didn't have enough room, right? So all the quarterback had to do was either make the tackle or make him go back in. He's tackled. If I get if I if I if I put Tyreek in a five yard box, 
with anybody outside of cornerbacks, maybe a few select safeties, I expect him to get away. Right. Not with not with corners, bro. Like and that's not when, you, that's and not not when you're going this way and you don't have enough room. I think to he could have beat him to the pylon. Huh? If, he, if he would have stayed straight, I think he beat him to the pylon. I don't know. I, I don't think so. I don't, know. I don't think so at all. You had you had he's coming across. You had him both going at full speed. Like he tried to make a move. There was no move to make. Like, there was nowhere to go. Full speed is so much different than everybody else's. It full doesn't speed, matter, but, bro, because it wasn't it wasn't like it just wasn't that situation. Yeah, but regardless, that was the pivot point. Like that was the turning. It was point that the was game. a turning point. I tell you, I tell you why. I can tell you why too. Why Eli wasn't full speed? If you go back and look at it. He like there was he wasn't he was even phased by bit. the move. Yeah. Like he made the tackle easily. Yeah. So Tyreek made the move. He didn't even really have to stop. Like he didn't. Yeah. There was nothing yeah. to it. And, and it was and an Eli easy Apple's play for him. Like a great tackler. It was an easy play for yeah. him. Like it wasn't even a hard play. I want to. I, I wanted to ask y'all. Hold on. Uh, after that happens, whenever you're in a locker room in a moment like that, whenever you get to go back and have like we just made a fourth like fourth and goal essentially stop like fourth no points goal. there, you get to go back into the locker room like boys, we got a little bit of a juice you here. Well, I say, think I think they knew the whole time like yeah. hey, it's still it's still a two possession ball. Yeah. Dude. like we're in it. You walk in at that point, we're hey, we it. didn't play our best game. These guys could not be stopped. We're going down down eleven. We're gonna win this game. We're gonna go down. We're gonna score a touchdown. We're gonna go for two points. We're gonna hit a field goal. We're gonna win the game. I, if, I'm, if I'm being completely honest, even if like even if they would have thrown it away, they kicked the field goals 24-10, They're still thinking in the other locker room. It's still a two possession ball game. We're in it. They score no a touchdown doubt. there. It's it's tough. It's but no doubt. but you know that that's the point. It's like the end of the game goes. Now you're kicking to tie instead of kicking. I'll tell you. Win. I'll tell you this though, and the fact that Joey and them won, and regular season in Kansas City, I know it's a whole different atmosphere. But that cool. gives you a little juice too. Like, hey, we came back again in that game. We won. Like, we can He's do got this. His number, We've done it. Bro. We've done it before. Yeah, yeah. It's hey, percent. And this is say what you want. Make fun of me for saying this, but I mean, he's the baby goat, bro. He's he's doing what Tom Brady did when he first got to the NFL. His second year in the NFL, he gets to the Super Bowl after being hurt. So basically, his first full season. Unbelievable. Like what he's doing, and he's beating. The guy who you think Pat is going to be the next Tom Brady on his turf? How do you think he's on doing his it? home field twice in hey, one season? How do you think he's doing it? You know how he's doing it. I'm just asking. How do you think he's doing it? I think Joe's beating people. Yeah, mind, his mind and with the fact that he's the, like, like Joe him. Swag and like he's got the whole team behind him and he just knows guy, what he's doing. Bro. The guy doesn't make bad decisions. No, he like, doesn't. He just doesn't. How they made he doesn't give. He doesn't give you anything. Hey, he was sacked 55 times this year. You can tell when he knows he's about to get sacked. He covers the ball up. Yeah, he goes down. Even the pick he threw in the game, if you really look at it, like it wasn't a bad decision. He tried to force he it. He tried to it force it, it but it's okay. But, but he like, knows he can make that throw. It wasn't the boneheaded plays that you saw on the other side of it. Right. Right. There were a couple of them though, that, that got you, very close. He almost threw a couple of picks. Like they, a couple of slipped through yeah, the hands. Yeah, but then he's taking But listen, if they go through the hands and it's like it is what it is. But I'm saying I'm shocked every time he makes like a bad decision. It's like Drew Brees' no, combo yeah. era yeah. where it's like, what were you doing? Like, <laughs> hey, you don't make these mistakes. Like, and, I think Joey B is almost perfect. And then and when, when he, he does it, and when he has those, and he doesn't make those mistakes, and then he has, and he makes the the, the, the subtle plays like when he got out of the, the sack. Oh my and god! And then from Chris, is it Chris Jones? Yeah. Chris Jones came to the sack, gets out of the sack. Chris Jones chase him, jumps hurdles over, out jumps of the over. hurdles out of the tackle. Yeah. Reaches for the first down, first down. Tony Romo couldn't believe it. He's like, oh my God, he just got away like, from that. Nobody realized how athletic Joe is. Nobody. I saw that was a Bama scramble. I, I always said that when he was here. He I was did. like, bro, he just moves in the pocket well. Dude, he's, he's not, so good. He's just very good at moving so in the pocket. Good. So good. Do you know what his over under on rushing was for the day? Yeah, 19. It and was, a half. At, it was eight and a half. Yeah. It was oh. Mahomes was 19, I believe. Oh, so so my buddy bet the two quarterbacks. Uh, oh, combined? Com- like you said, both quarterbacks rushed for over 19 and a half yards. I think Mahomes had 19. Oh. And the sack. Oh, the yeah, sack. you're right. The, the sack, sack doesn't make a difference, right? Yeah, yes, yes. yes. Right. But they got, dude, they got wild over there. Like, Mahomes, like, started to feel the pressure. You could feel that game turn in your oh, hand. Oh, yeah. And Mahomes oh, got yeah. a little nervous, and Joey B never blinked. Hey. It was just, they, yeah. they, they did a close-up on his eyes a couple of times. Like, no. I don't think there's any Joey, Joey, Joey B's not even sitting on the bench, but he's sitting on, on the that Gatorade That was so bucket. cool. He was just sitting on the Gatorade bucket. sitting cooler. on the Gatorade bucket, ready to go. And nobody's talking. It's almost like a like a pitcher that's starting a no-hitter or yeah. a perfect game. Like, don't fuck with me right now. Like, I am. Get focused. me the rock. Laser. Focus. Now, like, like we're talking about him, and the Bengals deserve all the talk. Dude, Joey, there's a lot of talk, whatever. But Travis Kelsey is, he, I, I don't understand. He's so good, and he's so, he's older. And it doesn't, like, it doesn't even. I don't get, I don't get it either. Because you watch him play, and it doesn't look like he's. He's doing always anything. open. Well, he's always he open. breaks the routes wait, 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 wait. so good. He breaks his routes. He's always open. If you ever noticed, too, like it's very hard for the first tackler to tackle him too. He's like always oh, slipping yeah, away from the first tackle. He's not. He's he's a guy that you're like not. You're afraid to tackle. Like, I don't want to hit. How big is he? Like six four, five, six four, six five, like two sixty. Is he really that big? I think so. I mean, God, no. but like, dude, 
He's running over guys. You can just tell, like, oh, I'm so tired of trying to tackle this guy. I don't want to tackle him anymore. Like, but he don't, like, run over no. you like to run no, over no, no, no. He's, he's just like... Yeah. No. He, like, gets the, he gets the guy in, like, he's an like, awkward he's position. Like, slippery. Then, yep. like, it's crazy. Yep, yep, yep. And then he... He never gets hit hard. No. He's slippery as hell. No. I he's always open. If I could live bet, like, when Mahomes is scrambling in the red zone, instantly always put my money on Travis Kelsey. Always finds him. Oh, no doubt. Play just no, breaks no down. doubt. Travis Kelsey, you can... You, I mean, you can put... In the play, especially in the postseason, you can put it down, mark it down as fact Yo, that Travis touchdown. Kelsey and Tyreek Hill are going to score a touchdown. No was doubt. that a super boost? That was. Oh no! I should have bet it. I should have bet both of them. Did you bet sh- the LSU one? They, both, they, they did both score. Huh? I did. Yeah, yeah, I had, yeah, I had a Fanduel uh, daily fan, and I had both of them in there, and they both scored. I don't know why. I just. God, I feel bad for Andy Reid, man. <laughs> like Andy Reid's like five games away from being Belichick, really. Yeah, I think about yeah, it. yeah. He's I mean, like, he's hey, this is he's four straight. Like, this is four straight AFC Championships games, bro. He's taking two, he two franchises to, to four straight AFC no, championships. No. Was it with the Eagles? No, no it was it was three NFC, straight NFC, NFC no, no, no. championships. Eagles, he went four straight, four. and now here he's going four straight. Oh my god! I'm telling you, he's like five games and away from being Bill Belichick. One Super Bowl? Huh? He didn't win one. One or two? One or two? I don't think he won one. No, he lost in '04. He, lost he didn't win one in Philly. So he's so he was four straight there, and then lost the Super Bowl, the Pats, and then now four straight here. He had a quarterback throwing up in the huddle, and his his only appearance in a wide receiver with a broken leg in Terrell Owens, and then I mean, Jonathan Gidal was throwing up in the huddle. Willie Beeman. Well, I mean, dude. He, so he had. I mean, he's not. They're not going anywhere, right? The Chiefs are always going to be there. Yeah. You have, you have Mahomes, who's NFL's in a really good spot with coaches, oh, yeah. with coaches, young coaches. Older coaches like like uh, Reed, who's really good. With Tom you know, taking like a year off and then coming back another year. And then oh, Tom. Nice. With Sean Payton. <laughs> Tom, Tom and Sean coming back another year. Tom apparently retiring. Adam Sch- here's, my, here's, my, here's my beef with this whole thing. Like Adam Schefter's great. That's the one job I would never want. No. I don't want to be on my phone 24-7. I don't want to be breaking news. Because it's a hard thing to do. Because you break news, some, someone changes their mind. You have to be the first. Everybody wants to be the first to do whatever. whatever. Tom Brady... Is the greatest football player that has ever walked this earth. Mm-hmm. He has more Super Bowl rings, more Super Bowl appearances, every single record you can think of, and he's been the perfect. Like I don't give, don't I don't care about the flick gate. I don't care about all that stuff. He has been the model. He has been the face of the NFL for 22 years. He has earned the right to retire and announce his retirement whenever he wants, however he wants, without anybody impeding. Yeah. So don't come out here and say. Tom Brady's retired. I don't care if you talk to his Giselle. I don't care if you talk to his kids. I don't care if you talk to. I just don't Jason. understand. But I just don't understand how when that's the situation and you're a like respected reporter, why would you not go to him? Like if yeah. I don't get it from him, I can't be reporting this, right? This, and it's not about being first for the situation. It's about letting this guy announce it on his own terms. I mean, look, He's I respect so much. For Wait, tell me, I respect so the much. hell out of Tom Brady too. But like, if anybody in that situation, right? Like, why are we taking he say she say from like Giselle third, Tom. third, second, third part, like? Just get it. Just get it from him. Like, why? Why not? And yep. then, then they come out and say, "Oh, he's not. He hasn't announced his retirement." Yeah, he's probably gonna retire, for sure. No, but, he might not. Just wait. But who cares? He's who a psycho. cares if he's gonna retire? You have to wait. Wait for that. He's deserved. He's earned that spot. He's earned the right to announce it when he wants to announce it, how he wants to announce it. Everything he does in his life is calculated. Everything he does in his house and his life has a plan, mm-hmm. right? He had TV twelve. He has this media stuff. He has the man in the arena. Let this man. Do what he wants to do, how he wants to do it, and stop getting into this fucking business. That pisses me off. No, Schefter overstepped his balance. Oh, like, he, he was is, feeling it too. You could did, tell. Did you see him? Did you, you see could the way? tell his interview? I didn't see that. He looked. No, so, I didn't see it either. Dude, so, because they, they, he had to go on, right? He had, oh, he, had he had to go oh, on. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, he broke it. See your shit. He broke it. They're asking him. He was like, "This is what I talked to." This Ultimate what I did. Rub your nose in it, moment. Like, but like, like to the ground. Here you go. But like, not the whole like upbeat Schefter. Like he had stone face, and then Reese Davis. Yeah. This is during basketball. Reese Davis asked him. He said, "Hey, do you stand by your comments? There's been conflicting reports. Do you stand by your comments that Tom Brady?" He's retiring. All he says, absolutely. That's all he says, absolutely. What? Why? Why do you have to be so? Don't get butt hurt that someone's it's calling you out because you know you're wrong. Right. You know you like, messed why up. Why did you do that? Like I know your job is to report something and be the first one to report it, but this man, you are you're you're taking a, a a career moment from him. You're taking his moment of hey, this is what I'm doing. And allowing people to talk. Now look, he's gonna get it again. Whenever he announces it, it's gonna be this big thing, which is fine. But you shouldn't take any any part away from it. Hey, call me crazy. Like I'm obviously not in that part of the world, but like call me crazy. But like news like that, 
like that you know is like the biggest news there is, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, yeah. I don't know about y'all, but like when it happened, it was like six different like things that I got. So like, who's really looking at who broke it first at right. that point? Right, like Who break right break me news that's that everything's not gonna break right on the spot. Right, the headlines like that that's, that's when I that's when you pay attention to who broke it. I don't like who that. who's paying attention to that? I got CBS Sports, I got ESPN, I got all kind of like I'm not paying attention to wait, wait no Adam doubt. Schefter? Like, yeah, exactly. The news like, is so big. Oh my god, Adam that. Schefter announces retirement. That's Box. what I'm saying. Like the news on that's so big. Like who cares what single person did it because every headline's got it. So now we're gonna have to wait until the end of this week probably for him to retire because there's financial issues about why you do it and why you don't do yeah. it. There's there's. Like I said, everything is calculated. Tom is building an entire brand around this announcement, and you have Adam Schefter fucking leak, leak it out. It's like, Shefty, Dude, this up. is what made me think that maybe this was an NFL plan because of how, what Goodell had to go through with Tom Brady with Deflate Gate. Oh, uh, she's you with your tinfoil hat on. Here he goes. Here he goes. I think Here he so. Goes. Because why would Goodell be like, one more jab to get Tom out of here? He's made my life a living hell with Deflate Gate, everything that's gone on around the Patriots. And He's then, also made me a lot yeah, of money. Yeah, let me tell you, Goodell's, Goodell's living a living hell with having, not having to say a thing and making $40 million yeah, a year. Yeah, he goes Adam Schefter, and then poor Jeff Darlington <laughs> takes Tough. a ricochet shot out of nowhere. Yeah. He's like, I didn't report all my own. Jeff Darlington did. And Jeff Darlington <laughs> was in bed. He's like, reported like, by Jeff mean, Darlington and, and me. Jeff and Darlington. me. He <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a NASCAR driver. No, no, he's, that's a, he's, a, big, he's a big time. He's a, he's a, he's but not like this. No, he's not Schefter. Right. He's not Schefter. It's not a rap report. Look, and they're probably right. Everybody knows he's probably retiring. But like, it doesn't matter about being right. It doesn't matter about. There's sometimes it's like you know it doesn't matter if I'm first. It doesn't matter if I'm right. This isn't my. Well, if you just right, you might as well just write. Well, I think. Mm-hmm. Right. Don't tell me you talk to. The I have third heard. Person, I think. Or you say I have heard that he is gonna from sources you close to him. You don't say anything. You don't. I agree with you. Unbelievable. I agree with you. you I don't know why. I'm Brady not. I can't. It. What football history happened? Yes. Like it was gonna be like you know Tom's gonna come out on Instagram and do all the, the things video. and like it was gonna be great like an unveiling moment because he didn't do. Still not finished doing the show. Right. Like, part of like. Let, let that do his he thing. didn't do the retirement tour. He didn't do the like one last ride. He was gonna do it his own way. He didn't want that, right? And he didn't was, want to distract from his team. And Schefter fucking blew the whole thing up. Here's another thing, though. Dick, boy, the Bucks are gonna be in trouble. Yeah, what are they gonna do? Why you think Tom's going? I'm just kidding. The Bucks, <laughs> dude. I think, <laughs> I think Tom would come back just to I spite Adam Schefter. No, you're not. Uh, matters. Maybe, but I don't. I think Thomas Schefter, Peyton, Tom cooking like, it up right now. Tom's like, I think Tom. From what, from what they I like, each other in New Orleans. <laughs> oh my god! From what I, that would be awesome. here's my tin full of hat. Wow! Hey yeah, guys, who has the best cap space available? I really love New Orleans. Everybody's, everybody's talking about, everybody's talking about Aaron Rodgers going to Denver. No, 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 that's not happening. That's not happening. That's not happening. Happen. But the Bucks have they were set up for these two years. For Tom was there. Yeah. They're not set up after that, right? Leonard's gonna be a free agent. Tom's gone. I mean, Bruce Arians. Godwin's probably, a free agent. Godwin's yeah. a free agent. Come AB off was injury. gone. AB's obviously gone. <laughs> AB's think, coming back. I, heard I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think AB's CFL. coming back. I don't think AB's coming back to the Bucks. I don't know if AB's gonna come back to. He'll play in the. I don't think he's gonna come I don't back. Where he's going. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> AB's doing something. He's gonna be doing something. He'll be on. I don't know where it'll be, but he ain't gonna be on football on the football field. Whatever, as long you as like, you got that mental wealth, baby. <laughs> I'm all about mental wealth. Whatever he gets, <laughs> whatever they, whatever Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos put football on the moon, go ahead and call AB first player, first one signed. First all, that's where he's down. going. No, doesn't the space suit in the space suit like let AB him, still in yeah, the with gym the, right the, now, uh, ready to with go those glasses out. he was wearing. Hardest working man without a job. <laughs> <laughs> well, then he posts some pictures with the Baltimore Ravens. He just he just wants attention. I love it. <laughs> Your oh, effect just ruined that. Yeah, man. It, let, let AB be AB, but like, look, like we've talked about before, more, more, more props to Mike Tomlin for dealing with that for yeah. so long. Yeah, Not, and keeping it so in house. Mike Tomlin can't do no wrong with Mama. No, I mean, I you have to deal with that, that guy in-house for that many years. You have to deal with that guy for how many years? However many years he was there, and you don't. Nobody really hears anything until the very end. Until he drop kicked that person on the. Uh, <laughs> The punt return. See, when you he's look at that, hurt him, he realized he wasn't gonna get over. He's trying to hurt him. He drop kicked him right in the chest. That's when you McAfee. look at that video, McAfee got drop kicked. No, no, he got shook. No, it wasn't McAfee. McAfee. Uh, McAfee got shook by him <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. because he was talking about this the other day. Whenever he said, because uh, in the divisional round they put Tyreek Hill back to return punts, and like they would talk about when a punter would go back there, they would look and be like. Who's back there? He's like, you got AB back there? Like, what the fuck, dude? I'm not, I was just going to punt it. I thought I was punting to Scotty Miller. Like, I thought I was punting to 11 for Cincinnati Bengals, the white guy. He's like, y'all put AB back there? He's like, oh, we're in a tight spot, boys. Like, y'all better get ready because this is not the punt I was going to kick earlier. I and, saw a video breakdown of that 
there's nothing but pasture on the left. It's all green. And AB just looks at him and is like, I'm going to drop kick that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> like, he, didn't, he didn't try to move. He didn't try to shake him. He said, fuck it, I'm going to... You I'm could gonna, tell he, like, I'm literally didn't, didn't really... Like, he, like, thought, I'm going to get you over know what? And, like... Two okay. inches off the ground. I was like, nah, nah this is going to your chest. Just joking. <laughs> just joking. I still got to stay on my feet, so I'm going to kick you. I don't want you to tackle me. Personal nah, foul. I'm going to rat you. Speaking of back and feet, how good is, back to the kickers, how good is McPherson? McPherson's. Hey, that guy came on Sunday's show, on back and feet show. Big flatline guy. Breaking. Big flatline guy. Oh, yeah. No pulls. Big pulse. flatline guy. No pulls. Loves it. Loves it. It's hard to he, kick with your nuts that Not many flatline yeah. opportunities <laughs> for the last four years in Florida, but came, big flatline guy. He came on McAfee Show, or we went on McAfee Show and said that I'm going to break Adam Vinatieri's records for most field goals made in the postseason. He made. He just made. They're going super How cool. close is he? I mean, he's probably like three away. I think it was the most points in a postseason. I thought it was the most field goals made. But maybe no, I think made. it was most points. I think it was 15 is what the record was. Wow. And he's at... 12, I believe. Oh, he's made like 11 kicks. Yeah, right. He's got to be at more. Yeah, I think he's made 11 kicks already. He's got to be more. He had three field goals, right? Three field goals yesterday. Yeah, well, I had his as well. I had the over. I had the over in McPherson points. I was like, I don't know if the Beagles are going to get blowed out or not, but I know who's going to be on the field. Evan McPherson. How locked in are you going to be on the Super Bowl? This man's got three Rams futures on the Super Bowl. I have oh, a, sure, I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> That's a lot of boys. I forgot about no, that. I don't know what I'm rooting for, though. What do you mean? I can't go against Joey B. Mm. And I have one little future, Mark. tiny little future. Uh, I got a tiny Garden. little future, 10 to win 140 on, on the Bengals in the Super Bowl. They're in there, so I can't 10 really. 10 to win 140. So I'm already when did you do that? When did you do that? Two weeks ago. Just got a little, a little feeler, a little oh, feeler God. out Good there. But hey, I have, anybody know what the uh, Bengals line was at the beginning of the season? Uh, what was somebody, that? Somebody, somebody <laughs> said something about. I mean, it, had, it was it had to be low. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Somebody said something about. It. I think if you would have bet. Oh, I'm not gonna. I don't want to misspeak, but like it was a lot. It was a lot. Imagine a, a nice little hundred dollar, thousand dollar bet for the year. Look it up. Oh, no, that's it's, it's on the internet. Look it up. It's on the Google machine. I got a little bit to play with. <laughs> Buy anything you want now. <laughs> but dude, I mean, and listen, I I'm not taking credit for saying it because everybody can say, oh, I said this a long time ago with no documentation, but. I did in the feel like the middle of this, like probably the third or fourth week of the season, I was like, man, Joe has a chance to like. I didn't. I'm not even gonna lie. To you. I said Joe well, <laughs> when he kept when he started winning, he started throwing because he had like I think he started the season off like with like four straight, four games in a row with two plus touchdown passes, yeah. and they were winning and they had a winning record and then they had a big win, and I was like, man, I have a feeling like not a feeling. I was like, I can see them making a run one, and I can see Joe, they make the run. Get it becoming like winning the MVP, and this is before Aaron Rodgers was like going off, you know, yeah. obviously. But I mean, Joe, one hundred million thousand percent is the comeback player of the year. Oh, Over of course, that. got that future in. I mean, you have did to, you? Wait, wasn't there somebody else that was like out last year that had a great year this year? Dak. No, no, Dak. no. Somebody else too, or am um, I wrong? Um, I don't know. JJ Watt wasn't out. I mean, uh, no. TJ Watt wasn't out last year, right? No. No, no. Dalvin, I could be wrong. Dalvin Cook. Mm-hmm. Nah, I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But I, mean, I, mean, I think I mean, Dak was the, Dak was the great like equalizer for yeah, comeback yeah. player of the year. It was either going to be Joe Burrow or Dak, and then but Dak started off gangbusters. Yeah. yeah. What? Do, I wonder when do they vote on these things? Is that? Is it well, like, it's next week. It's next week. Yeah. Do they take? Week, when's it? the voting closed though? Oh, I don't know. Because uh, in baseball, you get you get the like the sheets sent to you, and you have to like fill it out. Well, I think of it like the Heisman. Like, is it a preseason award or is it a regular season? Well, here's the deal. Let's. I want to see is it is it a war by the writers or the players? Because we've already talked about how stupid writers are, especially the baseball writers. I don't know if the all the football writers are smarter. The baseball writers stink apparently because they saw what happened. Rest in peace to Barry Bonds. Just chances. Yeah. To all and, uh, can't tell them that they're having a good time with the Barrys out there. Good old time, mm-hmm. right there. Roger so Barry. Ha- look at Cook. Look at Cook. So happy. Ha 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 ha. I saw something. Oh, you found it. You found it. What is it? Oh, uh, 150 to 1. Oh, 150 to 1. God. God. That would have been a nice little payday. 1,000 on that. And I see, so are, are they in? Let's <laughs> not even say 1,000. Let's do 100. 100 is more reasonable. I'll take a hundo. Hundo. Hundo to win 15 hunch? Take it. I'll take it. Is this on the is this on the docket now? Because I do LSU football to win the national championship every year. No matter what. I'll throw a 10 piece down. You got it. It's on the docket. So now Bengals are on the docket. Hey. All the money they have next year needs to go to the big man up front. 
If you go, oh no, yeah, if you Literally. go and you protect him, I don't know what else you're gonna go look for. If like, you, I go don't, you don't need that. Joe, Astro, I don't know. He's gonna win Super Bowl after Super Bowl after Super Bowl because there ain't nobody gonna compete with that offense. The offense is good. They're stacked, and their defense is not bad. Their defense is good. When's, Opportunistic. When of 2009 boy. New Orleans. When it's like Higgins and Boyd's contract. Higgins well, is still there for a little is, bit. Boyd's, is, Boyd's, Boyd's probably at the end of that contract. Right, but, yeah. Boyd, but Boyd can get... Boyd's not going to be... An, I don't think... Right, Boyd, 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 Boyd and Higgins are kind of replaceable. Yeah, but Boyd's a, a slot guy. Like Boyd's not going to get the, the high-end dollars. Yeah. He's not. I don't think he's viewed as an outside guy. I think he's viewed as at least a two, though. So I think oh, he, yeah, can, he could possibly yeah, go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. But... If you know that Joey's doing what he's doing and they can get some up, like yeah, I'll tell you what, you'd be better off staying. I'll tell you what, Joe, Joe's twenty five. Guys are gonna want. They're gonna. He's gonna have the Tom Brady effect, and guys are gonna want to play for him, right? Like play for less. Hey, these veteran guys are gonna like. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be shocked if they lose Higgins, or they're not gonna lose Higgins, but I wouldn't be shocked if they lost Boyd and Godwin said, "I want to go play with you." Off injury, I'm gonna come play with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign for a little bit of a discount because I want to go win a Super Bowl again. Imagine OBJ. You know, like OBJ these guys are gonna go. I yeah, no, OBJ I and like Jam. Gonna go and play with him because of how good he is and like how much of an assassin he is. You think OBJ is gonna go play with him? I'm just thinking as a fan out loud how amazing that would hey, be. Cleveland, leaving Cleveland, go and play for Cincinnati. And win a Super Bowl right in that back to Ohio. He he, he's not there. going back to Ohio. He loves think about, I think he wants nothing to do with being think in how, Cleveland at any Think how of fun that would be. And they're doing this without an indoor facility. No <laughs> indoor facility. That coming? You, do you know why, though? Did you see their owner's hat that he had on his oh head? Oh, my God. Let's talk about that. <laughs> this man looks like the Smalls from the Sandlot. That thing looks like it's been sitting on a hat rack for the last This man looks like Smalls from Sandlot with this hat on. What are we doing? Maybe that's why y'all haven't won. Oh, this yeah. is the guy running the, the, the I show. can tell you right now. Let me just tell you this. If there was ever an NFL lockout, he's definitely on the side of the just like, don't give him shit. <laughs> don't give him shit. We have to win the Super Bowl without an indoor facility. We can do anything we want. They play once a week. They what don't you need that. About? Don't oh. give him anything. Dude, like, oh, what, is, what is that guy <laughs> wearing? Dude, like, doesn't it go to show I how much... I know he's older, but like... It literally... No, I swear oh. God, that hat literally looked like he was like, I had this hat in 88 when we were there when last. When the this team, is, I'm wearing it. This guy, this is the hat that's <laughs> yeah. in here. This is your this is your fishing hat that's in the back of your boat. <laughs> the hat, oh, I don't have a hat. I got to put this one back on. As soon as he put it on, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's, it's sideways, the bill's crooked, it ain't, oh, it's God. not bent even. A couple evenly. sweat stains on it. What are we doing here? What are we doing? That's his off-season hat. That's his fishing hat. He's got the expect to be here. He's got the, uh, the fishing <laughs> hooks hooked into billionaire. it. Billionaire. What a, billionaire. This guy's a billionaire. Looks Where like did he get his money from? A dollar. I don't money? know. I don't know. Not from fashion. Not, <laughs> not from that hat. Mike Brown. Oh, boy. That's his name? Mike Brown? Mike Brown. Mike Brown, bro. We got to get you stylist. But, um... Mike Brown definitely still reads the newspaper. Where a fedora. Where a fedora or something. 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big baseball writer guy. He's probably doing some other things, too, that you're like, this guy just needs to go. But <laughs> dude, I think the real like conversation is how many jobs is Joe Burrow saving? Like mm-hmm. now Mike Brown's a good owner. Now Zach Taylor's a good coach. Like well, I think he's done this before and it was in our backyard. Well, let's be honest, he, he wasn't saving Mike Brown's job. Well, no, no, but I'm saying but he makes him look <laughs> no. like a good owner. Like Mike Brown has been like much maligned for not having an indoor facility, not taking care of the Bengals. Like yeah. that was looked. He looked at it as just a money making opportunity. Yeah. And Joe Burrow came in there and said, "Fuck that, dude. We're about to win the Super Bowl." Yeah. Like in two years, he's made him have to care about football. Like they'll have an indoor facility next year because mm-hmm. the Bengals are going to be a franchise because you have Joey <laughs> franchise. No doubt. Like, he is going to make you change the culture. As much as LSU changed from 2018 into 2019 and then it was gone, yeah. they're stuck with them well, in, in all of the good ways. People give... And this coach Joe would still be the coach here if Joey B was still here. Yeah, that, that's well, fact. Yeah. That's so they're fact. stuck I mean, with Zach Taylor, who may not be a good coach. Yes, no doubt. But I will say this about coaching in the NFL. is like, Zach Taylor is supposed to be... Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Now you can hear me. There we go. Now you can hear me. Zach Taylor is supposed to be... Was supposed to be the guy, right? Well, Guru. It takes some time. Like he's going into a, an organization that didn't have a quarterback, right? Like they didn't have anybody under center. They had a lot of more rebuilding than they thought. Like you can't expect that guy to have success right away. Mm-hmm. Then he he lands the number one pick, hits the number one pick. He gets hurt. Well, it's not his fault that he got hurt. Like you got to give this guy some time before you're saying, "Oh, Zach Taylor stinks." You know, like he's good. He's obviously a good coach. He's no, obviously a good coach. They, 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 it's obviously they have two good things. Good leadership, which comes from the quarterback and coach. Yep, yep. And a good coaching. You know why? Because they were the least penalized team in the league this year. 
Wow. That's a Coach O stat, though. Coach O did the same thing. That's, hey. that's your quarterback. In the league. Well, it is, too, but it, it goes a little bit to coaching, too, because you don't coach the quarterback. Because he has nothing else to focus college, on. College and NFL. College and NFL are a little different in that yeah. situation. Like, college, college, you can, like, I don't know. There's just more. It's hard to, it's hard to explain, but, like, in the NFL, right, these guys are professionals. So, these guys are, like, if, if they are jumping off sides, if they're doing these things that, like, a professional is not supposed to be doing, that's because they don't, they don't care. They're not giving, they don't give a shit. They're not, you know, paying attention to details. In college, these guys are just young. And, like, if you can just get these guys to, and this like buy in almost, Be almost, like and trick in college, almost like trick them. And in college, it's a lot easier. Just the straight up truth, it's a lot easier to discipline when you're not doing right, the right. Right, thing. that's the thing. In the pros, you can't do that. Like dudes you're not running you guys. Guys. Literally, dudes will tell you, way. I make yeah. way more than you. Get out of my face. Yeah, you're not running it. guys. Right. So like, it's more of a. It's. <laughs> Oh my god! You know, on that note, on that note, on that note, on walk that note, in now. On that note, we need to take it. We'll take a break. Let me, let me see. Let me see what's going on. Let me see this, my tracksuit guy. Like, please, please. You gotta please, slide it. Out. Slide it. Out. Slide it. Slide it. There we go. Get the shot. There we go. Show him. Show him. Show him. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There he is. There he is. Cody. Welcome. What's, what's your tracksuit? No, we do What's your tracksuit? Just so sure. If the only thing you're missing is the gold chains. Yeah, or the pink, or the pinky, or the pinky ring, or the pink ring. All right, we're gonna take a little. We're gonna take a little break. Reset so I can just fathom what we got going on here. He's walking, walking uh, like an eighty-year-old man that won a million listen, dollars. You're listening to Mike Dub, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. And look, we're gaining, we're gaining sponsors, boys. You got Heineken on the desk. You got Heineken on the desk. Well, Heineken. We got what? beeping coming out from what? the coffee machine. Coffee, what? 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 Water? What? What? Uh, see you in a couple minutes. What? What? Wow, that is awesome. Questions about your finances? Are you looking for recommendations from a skilled financial advisor? Get in touch with our friend Daniel Newman over at Edward Jones. You can find him easily by logging online and shooting him an email at daniel.newman at edwardjones.com. That is daniel.newman at edwardjones.com. Whether it is help with your 401k or just fiscal advice heading into the new season, get in touch with Daniel today. Best way to do it? Email him. Daniel.Newman at edwardjones.com. He's our experienced financial advisor. Let him be yours. Daniel.Newman at edwardjones.com. Gearing up for spring and summer down here in South Louisiana and you want to keep your lawn maintained during these sunny seasons, get in touch with our friend Blake Bear over at Bear's Lawn Maintenance where he says, you grow it, I mow it. 225 485 8022-225-485-8022 is where you can find A Bears Lawn and Maintenance, the official lawn and maintenance company of the undisclosed location.
You go. Back on. Back on. Welcome back to Mike Up. Brought to you by Sterling Automotive and Heineken. We're back here. Heineken, give a little Heineken Ooh. shout out. Get your hand I off some... my Heineken. Now, we'll say this little Heineken, <laughs> Heineken Zero, alcohol free. You know, it's a mid, little midday a little if, you want, if you want a little, if you want a cold beer taste without having the actual alcohol and be able to go back to work and function. You can drink those you know? in the morning. But maybe. Absolutely. Maybe. Just maybe. Put a whole bunch of those in your office. Maybe. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> hey, actually, funny story about Heineken Zero. My brother in law, who likes to have a couple libations um, every now and then, to. I was told to turn. Can you see it? Look. It's going in. Oh, it's perfect, dude. You yeah, take no, me. What is everybody in? Well, you frame it up. Boom. boom. There we go. He had Mike Hollander. Throw his name out there. All disclosures. My brother in law is married to my sister. He's a wonderful brother in law. Great, yeah. Great guy. One of those guys that can do whatever he wants and never get in trouble. Man. He likes to have some drinks when he's playing on the, on the golf course. He likes to try to take some people's money. Well, he brings a thing of Heineken. He likes to drink Heineken. So he brought some Heineken on the course, puts it in the ice chest, him and our other buddy. Who are throwing some back? They're about six deep, and they're like, "Man, I don't know what's going on right now, but I don't feel anything." He looks into the thing about hole eight, and he's like, "Damn, I got Heineken Zero. Oh, about this. Heineken Zero, no alcohol. Shows you how good actually Heineken Zero is. You don't even know you're not drinking alcohol. You know what I mean? So if you want that little taste, but Monday sometimes you want the actual Heineken early the real on. Boy. You know, but those actually get me drunk. Yeah, this is a nice little plug for Heineken. Yeah. It's probably a little commercial. There you go. You're welcome. But. Changing gears to LSU baseball and LSU basketball and all LSU sports. Um, funny, actually, now that you're in here with your beautiful tracksuit, track it looks it actually looks pretty high quality. Actually, I don't know. It is. It's oh, actually, I don't know if you can zoom in right here. It's a British flag is made in. Oh, uh, that's where how it looks Britain like. Is. Uh, <laughs> where <laughs> Britain is? <laughs> where is that? Uh, England. Britain. I mean, not, not America because we won that war. London's in England. Yeah, but that's okay. You set yourself up. Keep for going. This. Keep going. Yeah, no. Uh, this is my. I've, I have about six of these. They're all in different <laughs> colors. <laughs> yeah, I, I, six. Six of them. Are all in every day colors. of the week. I don't wear one on Sundays. Was this a color uh, for no, the no, Lord's Day? Time, or was this like a? a hey, do you have a? Uh, do you have any? Uh, any lettuce? Like any? Um, any, oh, any oh, meat sauce on there? Is there actually sure don't. There is no. Sh- there you go. So I that's do what shave. You, what you should do is you should have it open a little bit so you can see a little bit of the meat sauce in there. I, so no, cool. me, baby. I go I go full zip because I got weird nipples. Okay. <laughs> okay, very insecure about your nipples. Those things you don't out. seem insecure about much, but you're insecure about the nipples. I'm insecure about the nipples. Um, okay, before we get to baseball, which I got on uh, Brian Kelly on his band. Yeah, it's got to stop at some point. Do you think really? Really? Do you think yeah, it's got to yeah, stop, though? Getting out of control. Do you? Like, hey, he's getting he's getting some pub. These recruits <laughs> like it because they're getting a bunch of attention on it. Like, I think it's so bad that it's good, I think. I hate seeing it. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't make me feel good about Look, it. If you want to do that whole thing, like, you know, the, the little revolving wheel and blah, blah, blah. Let me just, just stay in there. Well, first of all, can we talk about this? I don't think the wheel is moving. It's the camera. Right, right. It's the the ca- camera. No, no, no. Yeah, you're right. No, 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 no. So I've actually seen one of those in person. What happens is it's, just like, it's, built, it's like this built-up platform, and the platform spins. So the platform is actually spinning. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. the camera moving. No, Actually, the camera no, no, is no, good. No, right, it's right, the right. other way around. There's a, yeah. The platform's there. There's a Look, Louis getting mad at you. Louis getting mad at you. He's right. like, you're stop right. doing that. You're right. That's not right. You're right. Right? Like, you're they right. have... Because, like... The platform's there. The, the camera's... Platform spinning right. would be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I feel Especially like, with... No, no, no. Not that. Not that oh. Well, I mean, if BK's doing it and he, he looks a little uncoordinated, what if he steps uh, off and falls off? Or, you know, maybe get dizzy. That'll throw your equilibrium off big time. Yeah, get a little dizzy. You know? Get a little dizzy. But, okay. I just didn't want... What do you thought? You probably love it. I like it a lot. I think it's okay. I do. I like it a lot. I mean, I think it's terrible. I think it looks bad doing it, but like if that's going to give us some attention, I mean, obviously it's not affecting us getting recruits. These well, guys are coming I, in. You got to adjust with the times, though. I feel like, you know, I mean, he's not, obviously not. Well, going let's not down do the. Let's not do the. Uh, yeah. well, that's the that's uh, in now. The, I think that's in. Is now. that in? Is that yes. a new move? It's back. Yes, that's is the sprinkler now. back. Long, is the sprinkler going to be back? Is that all back? Yeah. All right. Well, here's my question. This is why I don't like it. Why are we just doing that now? Like we got pass. Also, does he have a pass? Like a pass. Of him doing stuff like that? No, not Notre Dame. No way, Notre Dame. No. But why That's are we? Point. Why are we not going back to back? Why is he going? Yeah, he went prom style. Why is he going? <laughs> prom style. Well, yeah, let's go prom style. Let's go with that. Just put your hands around his waist. Why is he head. going? Guy back there, and then he is here, and he's looking around. There's like, so hey, many I'm things here. we can dissect. Hey, don't forget me doing thing. this. You know, they, don't forget. They need to do piggyback. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, should. You're not wrong. As much as, 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 as you do piggyback, piggyback and you're good. 
as much as they're doing yeah. in, in on the whatever the dance floor, I guess is what it is. Like, is anything off limits the at dance this point? Floor. Like, what are they doing? I, I understand that it's good for recruits, but I would imagine, like, Jared Mitchell, if you're up there and Brian Kelly is behind you, dick to butt, and you're like, there you bro, go. I'm not... I didn't like, want to say it. You said it, though. Like, I don't even know if I like this, and now it has 5 million views. Like, bro, I can't live this down. Like, I'm a part of Brian Kelly there, going viral. I'm up there, and that same situation happens. I'm stepping off. I'm like, hey, it's great meet. Yeah. All right, where, I'm going somewhere else. I'm not going to school here. I can't. I can't. Because he... Dude, serious, dude. Nick Saban, Nick Saban did a line dance. He kind of looked a little. He was vibing yeah, a little bit the, in the line dance. Nick Saban ain't on the platform spinning and doing giving me the Austin Powers. Fingers. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm not saying it was, it was the right thing. I'm just saying that I don't think it's as detrimental as people think. think I'm just wondering from a recruit's perspective. I think it's so good it's bad. I mean, right. it's so bad it's good. It's so good it's bad. So good it's bad. See, it got me so messed up. I'm going. I'm flipping it. I think he's so serious though that he can do little things like that. The show has a little it's bit of personality. Almost, he seems very. He just seems super professional the way he can he can mix in tight i just think pig, nick I, I can't doing, stop thinking the piggyback thing it's man. nick saban doing the cuban truffle it's what it is like it's somebody that seems so uncomfortable being yeah. comfortable yeah, yeah, yeah. that you kind of ride with it for a little bit uh, yeah, well, cuban we'll truffle's different man well, t- tbd tbd yeah. tbd to see what happens big Five big day years. big day in what two days right yeah. three days two days when is february, february 2nd, 2nd. so 31st so day. two days do you sign so, on signing day well, they didn't have early signing period when he was. That's what I'm out. saying. Yeah, but I didn't know if he was just already in the boat. No, I think, I think I committed on signing day. I think. You could, you mean you signed on signing day? Signing. I don't remember. At this point, he was, this man <laughs> was. Play was a half a life ago, this right? man was. This man was worried about trying to get drafted in high school. I don't That's what he was worried about at the time. Oh, he was eleventh eleventh rounder out of high school. Tenth. Show me some respect. I'm sorry. Put some respect <laughs> on my name. Tenth <laughs> rounder out of high school. Tenth. Tenth okay. rounder out of high school. Came to LSU. Did you almost think? Did you think about it? I thought about it. Who got you, twins? Ah, oh, see, Tory Hunter. Look at that. Look at that. The brain. Put some respect on his name. I got it. Damn, I got you it. looked good in the twins. I know uh, the pinstripes. I can I say that. Yeah. Uh, you already did. Yeah. I already said. I already, I already said, said it. Said, no, you think about it. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. I don't mean yeah. that in a bad way. But oh, well, you look great in uni. You look great in uni. Oh, dude, we were talking about this. You while, uni, whenever you left, we were like all uniform team, Jared Mitchell, because we were talking about it last night during the the live stream. And we saw a couple guys in the uniform. We're like, like Jamar Chase. Doesn't even look like he's wearing pads. Like you're just like, oh, he just looks great in the uniform. It just fits him. We're like Jared Mitchell in the old school, like 2009 Tigers. Little purple sleeve coming out. Little high wrist tape. We're like, yeah, all uniform team. So, I, I mean, that's what gets you drafted. Trying to look the part. Yeah, you got the nice high ass. You know what I mean? That's what all the scouts look for. The old the high scouts, ass. Yeah, the old school yeah, scouts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do people yeah. know about yeah. that? Huh? I don't think people know about that. Like the, the high, high ass, ass thing? like, like Tyrone being, big, big being ass. like an asset for like a like to to project a guy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I think it's well documented these days. So right, like, hey, this guy's like high ass means this guy can run. Got a motor. He's got, yeah, he can move a little bit. Um, speaking of, well, I don't know if that's a good segue. Speaking of high ass, but LSU baseball started. Today, guys. <laughs> Couple of high Dylan Cruz high ass. That's what I was gonna go with. That's what I was gonna go with. <laughs> speaking of another high right. ass, I was gonna go. I was gonna go that, but. Uh, <laughs> That man's got some big old tree trunk right. That kid's bigger than you think he is, man. He's a pro. He's a professional. He's a professional. And speaking of professional, he went. He went Yahtzee yesterday. Big dog. Boomba. How far? Homer. Did we get the? Did we have uh, the? Uh, about four hundo. Twenty-five degree have... launch angles. What they sure showed on the thing, Track Man, which is the ideal launch angle. Do we that believe you want. these numbers? Yes. Because they have the Hawkeye. They have like the good one or the yeah. Track Man. They have a Track Man. Yeah. So it's like it's accurate. It's accurate. Um. But he is. Uh, a professional playing college. He is going to be the number one overall pick in the draft. Think he goes one one. I believe that. What about did was Barry out there? Uh, he was out there. He was out there. He went. Oh, I'm looking at it right now. He went 0 for two with a wall. No, that's not him. Just joking. He went 0 for. <laughs> he went 0 for three. He went 0 for three. It's okay. He's Coming off get, an injury. Trying to get going. Yeah, K. Doty hit a homer. Uh, the first game. So that's our shortstop. Supposed to be a first rounder as a as a junior. As nobody's really talking about. I don't know why people aren't talking about him, but he is. I think he's going to be one of the better guys on the team this year that nobody's talking about. He's, I mean, he's supposed to be a projected first, second rounder, and nobody's really saying anything about it. I don't know why. And nobody talks about Gavin Duga either. This man goes one for two with an HBP. That's, that's the grinder. He's the grinder. He's going to hit 20 pumps. He hit 20, 19 pumps last year. He's going to have 20 pumps, gets on base. He's going to have the big clutch hit. That's what you do. I think LSU's right now their first, like, five guys. Five or six for sure. Like, I mean, you go look at them. Yeah, you go like, look at it. You go look at their I mean, lineup, right? You I have. Don't, I don't want to be like, you know. I guess I do want to be too positive, but 
I mean, they might lead everybody in homers. And apparently, or, 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 in every stat. Apparently, below. Apparently, below. So is like flipped the switch and made some adjustments, and he looks good. You have Duga, who was hit, just had 19 homers. You have Dylan Cruz, who is going to be the first overall pick. You have. Uh, Kay Doty, hey. who's going to be a first rounder. Jacob Berry's projected player of the year. Trey, Trey Morgan, Morgan yeah. All American. If you can, if you can X factor that and get Beloso back anywhere near on track, yeah, could be a. I and mean, you got, it's already a scary lineup, but it could literally be the difference. And you got in, Andrew Stevenson's little brother, who's a stud. He oh, went really? Two, he went two for two yesterday. Yeah, SCM boy. What's he playing? Outfield. Really? Yep. Dude, he's an unbelievable athlete. Yep. Like, he's great. He's bigger. He's bigger than Andrew was when he got to college. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not as fast, can still run real well, yeah, yeah, but not yeah. as fast as Andrew. Um, but like I, we talked about it, pitching is going to kind of be the freshman this year. It's a freshman. Pitching is going to kind of be the I don't want to say bugaboo because we don't really. It's a big unknown. Nobody really knows much about it. I know that I've talked to people around the program. And they're like, look, we have some guys that can throw. Some guys that are young. They're going to have to go down and prove it. But there's a lot of unproven. So right. You got to go on the mound and prove it. I think they're going to try to. Uh, they're going to try to, like, mix and match yeah. and try to, like, figure out matchups. I know they got a transfer lefty who's kind of a 88 to 91 guy, moves it. A finesse guy, can, yeah, Well, yeah. that's fine. Put the guys at their starter. It's fine from the left side. Yeah. 100%. Chunk 100%, up some e- innings. Um, I think you got some guys at the pin that throw cheese. That could help. You know, some guys at the pin that throw that throw hard, get some guys out. Uh, I think the biggest the biggest thing is going to be uh, – Pitching. Well, pitching, <laughs> starting pitching. And I'm drawing a blank on his name. Jacob Berry? Nope, the starter. He's a starter now, was a closer, now the starter. Oh, uh, Devin. Devin Fano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devin Fano, I think that's going to be the big... Oh, is he uh, doing the, uh, the, he's trying to start the Hess now. role? He's trying to start, yeah. Wow. What do you back. think about that? When people that you know have a legitimate role as a closer, and then like, I know what they want to do for draft stock to be able to come in and look like I can throw... I mean, look, I think, I think if they can do it, give them an opportunity to do it, but I don't. it's hard to do, right? Like, you get, you get locked into the closer role, you only have to throw one inning. Right, and you can blow it out for Pump. one inning, get a guy out, get guys out. You don't have to face you don't have to face a turnover. As a starter, you have to you know turn massage it over. Massage the lineup a little bit. Yeah. yeah, massage it. You have to be able to pitch. You have to. You can't max effort. Can't every show pitch. it all every. Yeah, you gotta. There's yeah. there's some strategy to it, right? I don't know. Single and married. There's an. A, what? You keep a little, you know keep some moves in the bag when you're single. When you're married, you oh, got yeah, all the tricks yeah, 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 on the table. Yeah, no doubt. You get you get a little <laughs> lax for sure. I, mean, I guess that works. I guess yeah, that'd that be that a hard works. conversation. Hey, now since we're married, I got to show you a bunch of yeah. stuff. <laughs> uh, I already locked you down, but uh, oh, open this bag up. Got some shackles right here. Uh, <laughs> Go in that back room. Actually, what I'm up to. <laughs> but I think they're. I mean, I think they're ranked in the top ten. I think they're gonna be good. I think. Um, I'm gonna go out. See, I'm gonna go out. I think. I mean, I think they have the potential to go there. Obviously, it all comes down to pitching. I want to go out. I'm gonna go out and see some games. I'm going out there today to do my workouts in. Get my workouts. Three in. workouts. Yeah, three workouts today is a big day. Big day. big day, big Monday. Big yeah, Monday. Yeah. sleep on the Monday. F F forty five. Shout out to my boys at F forty five in the early mornings. Shout out F forty five. Get us in there. Yeah, get us in there. I get you some sponsorships. Yeah, get, get us a hat. Let Lloyd. Lloyd Hulk's wants to Hulk. get in there. Lloyd wants to be your before and after. Get Lloyd that. some yoga pants. In yeah, there. he wants to be. There. He wants to see the scenery in, in F forty five. Yeah, they love beef. And uh, beef, yeah, I got you saying beef now. I like that. I love it. Lloyd on the perk and then F forty five. And then I had, and then I had, had my, and then I had Tevin. Then I had to go speed work, and then I came here to do this, which I was juiced up for. I got my endorphins rolling, and then I leave here, I go hit and do my my baseball stuff, and then we got a big lineup. Then you'll be asleep by six. Huge lineup tomorrow, boys. I know we're not. We still got some time today, but we got the we got the STM boys coming. We got Jack Besh and Walker Howard coming show? soon. Special edition at three. We're going live at three. Usually Monday and Wednesdays. We're gonna go live tomorrow because this man is going to Cancun. I gotta so go to Cancun for I got I got a wedding we had scheduled a little while ago. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. Gotta go. I mean, he's to. acting like he has to go to Cancun. I got. I have to go. Gotta go. I have to go. Okay, it's not that I want to go. I have to go. It's not that I want to go. Yeah, I kind of want to. Cancun. What, Cancun. Sandals? Yeah. sandals. Cancun. No sandals. No. Oh no. Oh yeah. It's a. It's a. I don't know if it's a sandals. It's a, it is all inclusive though. Oh, man. it's all inclusive. I'm Even the robe. Santa's the robe. They have, they have a nice spa. No golf course, though. So I got to find one. I'm bringing my clubs. Are you bringing them clubs? Bringing, yeah. Do, 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 what do you do? Do you check the bag for the golf clubs? Yeah, you got to, right? Yeah. Well, you, can, you can go ship sticks. Oh, no. Uh, no sh- that's too hard. It's that's too, too expensive, much. right? Going to Cancun? Ship yeah, but these people don't respect your golf clubs whenever you put them in the bag. They just treat them like it's any old thing. Those things are fragile. Brought mine to Las Vegas, broke the driver. 
They did. Well, don't tell me that. I'm just telling you. It's too late for ship sticks. Yeah, it's too late. It's too late for ship sticks. I got ride with the. I got ride with the bag. Yeah, just next day, just get there by three. Yeah, pay five hundred dollars for shipping. Next day, hey, I want overnight delivery to Cancun. I need you to fly this thing over there. Put this thing in a boat. Put this thing in a canoe and just fucking canoe this thing across the there. line. Catch What are you doing yeah. today? But yeah, I'm gonna leave right here and I'll just bring my. We're gonna go. We got a nice little. We, this is we haven't we haven't taken a trip this off season. Usually we take a trip, and I was saving up for the Cancun trip. You go Wednesday to Sunday, come back Sunday, and then what? I gotta come back. What? And I gotta, and I gotta come back Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at home. Then I have to go fly to Napa. My sister's getting married in Napa. All of these have to oh, to God, Napa. Yeah. To, I mean, and then I had my Napa. flight. I had my flight changed from. I, had, I was coming back on Sunday. It's a tough two weeks, man. I know, big, it's really big struggling. two weeks. Big two weeks. I got, but I got to bring my baseball stuff. I got to throw. <laughs> I got to work out. I got to do a bunch of stuff. I got. I got. I got to stay if on top of shit. If you need somebody to throw with, you just let me know. You you should fly to Cancun. Yeah, yeah, fly to Cancun. Fly to Cancun. Business, business expense. Yeah, business exactly. expense. So I got that. Changed my flight from Napa. It was noon. I was getting back because Napa, you have to fly time zones, whatever. I was supposed to get back at 8.45. 8.45 on Super Bowl Sunday, coach. I was like, mm-mm, ain't happening. That's Change bad it this morning. Allie, if you're listening to it, my love of my life, <laughs> we've changed our flight to 6 a.m. Allie is actually very We are cool. leaving at 6 a.m. So you're from... going to have to get up early. So we're getting up early. I know you're not going to be happy with me. You're not going to be very mad at me. You won't say a word to me probably until we get to Dallas on our layover. But we're getting back in town at 3, which I can come back and Wait, watch. Wait, so you're time traveling with the gambler. Like once time you be going from west to east to... Is that how that works? I don't know, man. I'm in my pick, I'm in a pickle right now trying to think of how time travel I would love. I would love to figure out how to time travel. We, actually, we talked about this earlier. If you could time travel, right? And you could say like uh, Back to the Future. I know you probably have to go, huh? I'm gonna keep you too long. No, no, hit this one. He's locked. Okay, in. okay. You, you, want, you want this one? You want this one? I want to hear yours. I want to hear yours. So your, if you get time travel, right, like Back to the Future stuff, right? You had uh, Buff was the guy from Back to the Future. Biff. He made Biff. 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 Yeah. Biff. So sports you would know. almanac. He had the sports <laughs> almanac, right? So he went back, bet on all these sports, won all this money. Obviously, he's a piece of shit. But <laughs> what does that mean? He's a piece of shit. Like this guy was like. He ran the shit. You ran the town, like the city went to shit because of Biff. Because he won all the money and he wanted to be the guy. He was ego to whatever. He treated Marty's mom bad. They treated Marty's mom either. bad. <laughs> like, come on. But if you go back, would you do bet on sports or would you say I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it all in one? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna bet on the lottery. That was 850 million dollars, and I'm gonna go back and nobody won this one, so it got to a billion. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna remember the numbers and I'm just gonna go put down. I'm just gonna go one hitter quarter. I got lucky. Nobody really knows you're a time traveler. Nobody's really questioning why you're making all your money. Boom, 850 million. Chalk it up. Put it in the bank. Let me go home. See ya. Or would you? Or would you say I'm gonna? I'm a time traveler. I'm gonna take advantage of all of it. And I'm gonna start. I'm a, I'm or would a, you invent something? Or would no, you say no, no, I'm no. gonna be the person who Tesla would, no, no. 30 years before Tesla? I'm happened. probably gonna stop like the Kennedy assassination and do why? like. Oh, do, so you're gonna be the things. guy? You wanna be like a <laughs> superhero? Humanitarian. <laughs> You want to be a superhero. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna you're not go gonna do so. You're not gonna help yourself out. I'm not gonna at go all. back and know everything and just be a degenerate. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you don't work, dude. You just bet 24 yeah. seven. No, I'm not saying bet, but I'll just throw you you know the money and then I go do everything else. You know what you do? You go to the you go to the in Dallas under the library, like, dude, check out what's about to happen right now. In 30 seconds, this I bet you brains blown that out. This is about to happen. Yeah. yeah. Give me 50. You want to bet? Yeah. Presents about twenty dollars. What are the odds? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um... Because if you gave me the opportunity to go with technology, I couldn't tell you how to work the iPhone. I couldn't make that happen. Yeah, but not technology. Just say not tech. Like, what's an I mean, invention? I would just go that gamble and be a tout. I mean, or okay, not, okay. Way. Well, see, for me, that would be inventions. It would just be, hey, in two thousand, hey, mom, let's go invest in the, in the, in the Apple. internet Apple. Apple. In Apple. Let's yeah, invest yeah. in this internet bubble that we're having. Let's win, make a lot of money. And then I went. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what you maybe do. buy some Bitcoin when I'm a sophomore in high school. Yeah, like early on, <laughs> yeah. sell off. Yeah. What's Bitcoin? I don't know, yeah, but don't it just know. sounds like then it's going to blow up. Then you become years. an expert investor, and you're like, little do you know, I know I all heard from a guy. this shit happened. And I heard from a guy. <laughs> Way back in the day, before this happened. Actually, heard from a guy in the future that I came back, back and told everyone. Fast. You don't have to believe me. And How he, crazy is that? And that he would, said Bengals are going to be in the Super Bowl in 2022. And that, will the Simpsons do that? The Simpsons are time travelers. Are they not? I mean, they have, they have called a bunch of stuff. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. They called but, Trump being president. In yes. like 2000. Well, that was a given. Did they called it in like two? In like I knew that when he gave uh, when he gave Macaulay Culkin directions in uh, Home Alone two. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, a lot of people are out there saying that Joe Burrow looks like Macaulay Culkin. It's back. He does. Uh, he does. Hey, by the way, 
You know Joe got some new teeth. Oh, absolute chicklets. Y'all saw y'all saw that. You, you noticed that? I haven't. He no. noticed that. He had, he got he got some veneers. He got. I some, feel like that's like the first thing. Like, is that the first move? I, Unless you're Michael Strahan. Yeah. <laughs> Stray said this thing is so he wide. Say, he say he say strong. It. And uh, Dude, Aaron Str- Judge. Strahan. Aaron, oh, he finally fixed him. I think he did. He did, did he really? Fix his teeth. He fixed his teeth. He got braces. No shit. Or veneers. Or Invisalign. No, no veneers. I think he just straightened his teeth. Can you do veneers to? Fill them up, or do you have to go so straight did you hear, braces? You know how they do veneers? I found this. They shave like, your teeth. Oh, they have the shave. Yeah. Pencil. Yeah, 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 very yeah, thin, yeah. and then they put the veneer in it. Yeah. How crazy is that? What if, like, your car gets declined, like, halfway through? <laughs> so I, think they're gonna, I think they're probably going to credit razor, check you. Razor sharp teeth. <laughs> I think they're probably going to credit check you before they start <laughs> shaving your Price, teeth out. If not, then if not, you can have the little needle teeth. They can only pay for half the mouth. Only needle teeth. Just the top. Only your lateral incisors. Just do his molar. You know what? Ignore uh, the molars. I just want the front four. <laughs> we're all good. Oh, are you going to get, more, sir, you gonna get in trouble that we kept you here too long? Uh, twelve thirty for sure. Oh, look at this. Twelve thirty. We, we real them in. Real them in. Real them in. What do you have? I gotta go. You gotta go across meeting. town. You don't get in this guy's business. I'm just wondering. This guy's got a meeting. Yeah. This special meeting he doesn't want to tell you about. Where are the people listening to? Hey, I want to go back to Napa Valley though. Napa, go back to it. Have you been there? Never been. Me either. Um. I have so many questions. I love the Parent Trap though, and Nick Parker. Yeah, Parent Trap. Sex is a great movie. Pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Dennis Quaid's one of the hottest. Dennis I mean, Quaid's still, great. Like, great. He has some great, great movies. Yeah, great baseball movies. Well, yeah. Uh, That's a, I just that makes Napa. It just seems like I don't know. I mean, I don't not probably. Not I want to go. I want to go, there, go to. Uh, they have some stuff that we could do. Like we can go to. Like I think there's some tours. But I'm Mike, my brother-in-law, has scheduled three rounds of golf for everybody. So he's the golf. Pebble <laughs> Beach. He's no. No pebble, I'm not going to pebble. I wish I was going to pebble. Dennis Quaid and who's the other pitcher that? Uh, Tin Cup. That actor. Oh, Kevin Costner. Yeah, Costner. who's better? Better athlete. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner, Costner for Costner. sure. Yeah. Kevin Costner. Yeah. Both were pitchers in movies. Yeah, Kevin Costner is a uh, game the um, for the love, love of the game. game. Yeah. And Kevin Costner was Tin Cup. And, and Kevin Costner was, was in, uh, the Bill that they will come. Yep, Field of Dreams. And Field Kevin Dreams. Costner was go the, the draft distance. Day. Ease his pain. Oh, he was on draft day. <laughs> Wasn't Kevin Costner GM in draft day? Yeah, he was yeah. making love in the closet with yeah. Sandra Bullock. And he was in. And Kevin Costner was in. Uh, Big sports guy, Kevin. Costner. And Bull Durham. Uh, Big sports movie guy. Yeah. How hard do you think he throws? He's an athlete. Seventy six. To be in those sports. To be in those movies. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. It's Still. <laughs> Maybe in his heyday, he could touch eighty. But being in those movies, you have to be a good athlete. You have he to be able to. You have to be able to. Yeah. You have to be able to throw it, and and look like you're an athlete. The engine, the engine, like the 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 movements were there. The the horsepower wasn't. That's yeah, was. but he looked smooth doing it. When when they filmed a major league, they like I read something. Uh, fact, you got to fact check me, but Charlie Sheen like was throwing ninety. Right? Yeah, they like, said t- he was like, touching. He was, he was an athlete. He was a good athlete. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. he got like on steroids. This is Charlie. Charlie well, maybe maybe Charlie. he may, he yeah. may not have been on Phil's body. Hey, <laughs> apparently this is Charlie, Charlie before the Charlie. We yeah, know yeah. This is Charlie Sheen, <laughs> and he was on so many drugs. He had yeah. no idea what he was. Tiger's like. blood. Apparently, yeah, good, dude. Like he actually was hitting them. He was he was hitting the mascots and stuff on on purpose because he was yeah, so high. He didn't know what was going on. Hey, you ever think? No, let me stop. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Do you ever think Charlie and Tiger Woods ever had a night out together? Oh, I have to imagine, oh. dude. It right? was for sure. Charlie Sheen, <laughs> Tiger Woods, walk into a bar. Definitely, uh, 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 lefty quarterback. Uh, the keep going. Johnny Manziel. No, Ooh. no, the um, Marinovich. Oh, you know they all went out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're time. right. You're right. You're right. Probably. Yeah. I mean, you have to. You Axel have to, Steel. There's a bunch of randoms back then. <laughs> Axel, yeah, he, you're going no, no, deep. Axel Rose. Axel Rose. You're going Damn, deep Axel in the, in the uh, uh, Rolodex right there with like the those guys Axel went out. Foley. <laughs> Axel Foley. Axel <laughs> Foley. Those, those guys went out hard back then. Oh, Could still do. Okay. Dude, a night out with. I'm sorry. A night out with Tiger Woods and Charlie Sheen. I like it. I'd like a night out with Derek Jeter. Yeah, but that's much more. So let's that's why key. I want it. Yeah, that's why I want it. I want the Derek G. Obviously, theirs was low key too. Until what? I mean, everybody knew what they were going on, what they're doing. Uh, did they know? I mean, they made it known. I mean, they didn't have so. Can you imagine if social media was real hot when they when they were in their heyday? <sighs> oh my god! Tiger could believe you were taking his pictures. Like, what are y'all doing? They'd be in trouble. Dude, even more trouble than they got it. MJ would be in the most trouble. MJ, MJ probably. Yeah, he, he, he would, would be. He wouldn't have as many secrets. MJ somehow just. Good for him. Good for you. Same with Jeter, though. What did he do? Same with Jeter. <laughs> Same with Jeter, though. Jeter, uh, Jeter would have been more. Operates in the grid. No, I don't think he would have been as bad. He didn't do like, but he would have been more in the public eye for yeah. 
that just because it's it was so, just because of where he was. Yeah, too. Like, it's very hard to move. Like, You're not going to be able to go. To, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, he was he was on page back of page six all the time. Yeah. In New York, uh, New York was it New York? Is it New York Times, Times or whatever yeah. it is? New York Post. Is it the Post? L.A. Times. And so he's. He's down the back of there. The There's some the, the Gazette. Uh, New York has like the eight New York Gazette. The Revelators. <laughs> but that's your that's your area, so you know it all. You know it all. Okay, George back to Washington sports. High back school, to sports. Back to sports. High school newspaper. <laughs> back to sports. Big sports show. We're a big sports show. The We're a big Bash. sports show. We're a big sports show. Um, LSU basketball got a big pickup. Five star center. I know that we're not we're not talk we don't talk too much about it, which I, I do love basketball. And I was at the game when the rats were. Gone you broke some news, dude. Yeah, I broke some news. Broke some news on the rats. And then we get, the next day, we had some, hey, we need some money for renovations for the PMAC. Rats. Did I tell you about the rat story? No, what is that? Coach, I'm sitting down there with D.D. Langlois. Wait, wait, I'm where? At the PMAC. <laughs> and we are on the front row, right behind the scores table. Yeah. Right? They're seating tickets. He gave me a seat. And I'm sitting down there, and the court's, like, elevated probably this much, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's cold. And... What I heard was when they sweep up all the popcorn and stuff, they just sweep it up underneath the court. Oh, that's so lazy. So it's cold, so that's where the rats... <laughs> Disgusting. Hey, so these, these rats are going down there, and they're hanging out, and they're eating and chilling and being social with each other, and it's cold, and all of a sudden they got a basketball game, they're here... <laughs> they're partying. They're <laughs> fucking going nuts. <laughs> Let me see what's going on. Scurrying. I'm talking about, I'm sitting here. Rat is going right there. Boom, boom. From the bleachers to the... To the uh, Court. Bleachers to the court. I'm like, oh my god, there's a rat. And then people start freaking out and then people start taking pictures of rats. There's three of these things that keep going back and forth. Hey, y'all ever did the uh, the honey I shrunk the kiss thing at Universal Studios? Nope. <gasps> I, that, I have they, they give you the four D. So yeah, like they give you like you're in the chair, they do this whole thing and it's like the chair's moving, everything's going on. Yeah. There's this part where there's like Rats. There's like rats that like run by your feet and it literally feels like they they blow air on it. So it literally feels like rats are like running across your feet. I'm like is that how you felt, basically? Like, you're sitting there in the game, and it's... Dude, crazy. then you had... So, you had, you had two girls that worked so for LSU. They, rats had, <laughs> they had two girls that worked for LSU that put their legs up. Like, they were nervous. Like, they were like, oh, my God. And then people were taking pictures of these rats. I'm like, this is not good. So, I came on here the next morning. Now, on my show, on Jody's show, I was talking to him. He announced it, told the story. Next day, email out. Hey, anybody want to donate money for renovations to the PMAC that been way overdue? Renovations. That's like, well, I didn't mean. Like, I didn't mean that. If, if we had a twenty-minute rat delay for the game, I didn't mean to drop. I didn't mean to drop a story or anything. But that's. I mean, I saw the rats. The, those I things run out, Mike. You hit him with the Stewart Little. <laughs> nah, I'm Ronnie Rizak. Is that I was uh, I really? Oh, if wait, I saw the rats, nothing on me. I want to see the. Uh, I want to see the Ninja Turtles though, like, like Splinter. I want Splinter to be the head rat, and Ninja Turtles to come out. Then that'd be cool. But I wish I was real. Ratatouille yeah, at the LSU Nutrition Center. That stuff yeah, is real. They wouldn't make movies on it if it wasn't real. Yeah, of course. Yeah, rats so turtles, you're dude. right. Yeah, yeah. duh. Hey, and they can on? talk and everything. Yeah. I don't know about them talking, but they got it. Those maybe fighting crime. That you think they were? You think? <laughs> you think they wear the bandanas too for real? With the eyes cut out of them? And the pizza? Just, nobody makes they that up. <laughs> you can't make that up. You know what? I, you know what? I want to agree. With, yeah, Santa's real. Absolutely. I want to agree. I want to agree with you. But back to basketball. Back to sports. The actual basketball. Big center. Big center. We need need some need some help on the front court. That's a big big recruit. I know From where. Uh, from Arizona, thank you. Okay. From Arizona, and he's like the 36th rated player on the top 100 from ESPN, which is huge. That means there's two five stars. You got him, and then this Julian Phillips guy coming in. Which Will Wade said at the beginning of the season that next year was the year that they're going to make the big big run. They're going to be good. They're good this year, but they're going to make the big run next year. I think a lot of guys are going to come back. Yeah. So I had to hit on that a little bit. Do you think that this is a shot not at Efton Reed, but? No, we're getting in two centers now, where like you got two guys over. You know, like Epton Reed is supposed to be the the guy, right? Right, and you've seen what kind of how he's not evolved, but maybe devolved a little bit when he saw some real competition. So Will Wade's like, hold on, oh, he's not ready yet. Guy. Maybe he's gonna be here like, for I a few years. I need a plug years. and play for yeah. next year. Yeah, yeah maybe. It's like Epton Reed's a project, but I feel like right? you can't go wrong if you have two top end centers. Nah, you know what I mean? Like two top end front court guys, like that helps a lot. Yeah. yeah, like they're gonna they're gonna both get some minutes. Can we change the rules for the penalties and? College basketball. Why is, so it what? What five, why is it only five fouls? Like they call so many fouls on the what floor. What do you mean five fouls? Like five fouls and you're out. Not six. Oh, oh. And, 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 I thought you meant like for the bonus. No, no. I'm just saying. Well, it's the games aren't as long. Games aren't as long. Yeah. I know, but they're still they ticky tack with the fouls. That just might well, as well give them six. That's the other issue. Let's not let's not change the rule. Let's make the refs better. That's the big rule. That's the big change. As in, let them let them get after it. Like you saw the difference play? in the look at the difference in the other game, the TCU game. They played hard. 
And they, they didn't call as many fouls in that game. The SC refs weren't there. So they weren't, they weren't calling all those knick-knack fouls. And they, LSU's in the bonus early in that game. So, like, why don't we say, hey, you know what? Like, we're not going to call the touchy fouls. If you foul, you foul. But if, if, if this guy's going, you kind of touch him, and you're not call, we're not going to call that. Dude, the NFL did the same thing last night. They were letting the boys Yes, play. they were. Yes. There was a couple. Um, you saw the taunting penalty and kind of went away. Yeah, they picked it up. They just picked up the flag. And no more taunting penalties. You know what else went away? I'm not, it's not happening. Oh, it has go. nothing to do with the game. Somehow, some way, we've gone three straight weeks. I haven't heard a thing about anybody COVID positive. No COVID. It's a playoff starting. We, so so we, we beat COVID. We beat it. We beat COVID. We beat COVID. We beat COVID. Nobody in the protocol. And you know what else we don't have to hear about anymore is Jackson Mahomes. Out. Oh, no Thank more. You Joe Burrow. Out. Out of there. No more Jackson Mahomes. I, hey, here's the real question, though. How does Patrick go ever? Like, there ha- how has that never been a conversation with wife and brother? Hey, hey, listen. Can y'all just tone it down just a little bit? It's not about you. I think just he's had that conversation. Well, his wife has been doing this but, since high school. They've been dating since high school. His wife has been doing that since high school. fiance or whoever. Is she, are they married yet? married, yeah. Yeah. I think Jackson, you know, yeah, his... His videos are there. Both of them's videos are yeah, they're, they're they're not that great, but I think it's they're they try to put they don't care. They're like go, they're, fine. they're far beyond that. Yeah, no, which, that's fine. I mean, it's a horrible look. And I mean, Jackson, I just here's the thing: like, if as much as they jaw back when people start going at them, yeah, you're creating that. So like, you yeah. should probably not jaw back because yeah, you're you only creating that. that. If if you do all of that and then when people come at you you really don't say anything okay cool no big deal Jackson Mah- Jackson Mahomes Jake uh, Jake Paul Wait, does this man look, is he happy <laughs> they're gonna fight <laughs> yeah see she's been doing that to him since they're I mean how old is he Matt they both she looks like she's six years older than him in this yeah. picture he looks like he's in middle school and she's the junior she's in high a, school she looks like a stand in like Drew Carey's <laughs> secretary in the one one I mean in that show what's his number <laughs> five that I what, is what is the hat on the girl in the back. Going full Ooh, flat nice. bill. What a what a what a style change it was. But like, like, that is, is a, that is an aggressive. This is his life right now. This is the picture of how he feels every day. But I said this is still going on. They should probably take. They should redo this picture. On the other hand, you have and on the other hand, you have Matt Stafford's wife, who's like, oh, Nate I love Matt. I, yeah. I, I love what she's doing. Like she's a supporter. Her. Whoa. Whoa. That came out. That wasn't even on the table either. Wow. Strong, strong elbow. Wow, I don't know. My elbow. Was people's elbow. Oh, the strong people's elbow. elbow. To the elbow. Yeah. Like, wow. I mean, to the table. He was, I mean, she was, like, super supportive. She's trying to get the game, like, she's doing the things that the quarterback's wife should do. Promote the team, make sure the fans are there, support her husband, but, like, not in the media for, like, TikToks and not in the media for, like, crazy stuff, but in the media for supporting her husband. Kind of like how Giselle was, like, he can't throw the ball and catch the ball. Like, that's okay for the wife to say. It's your husband. Like, that's what you want. You know, like, that's... Then after the game, did you see after the game when Matt Stafford won, she was, like... The happiest person in the world, and she was hugging him, and like I don't think that's an act. You know what no. I mean? Like that's not for the cameras. She's probably like, cool to like hang out. That's with. genuine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt Stafford seems like he's cool like, to hang out with. Yeah, he does. I like to be in that Breakfast Club with him and Matt Cooper Stafford Cup. Gets that. Well, Cooper Cup's wife, same way. She put him. She yeah, that's him awesome. That's job. a great story. That's a great story. She worked full time in high school, in college, moved to with him at Eastern Illinois. Is that where he was yeah, at? Well, yeah, yeah. Eastern, Eastern Washington. 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 Okay. And put him basically said, "Look, I'm gonna support you, and I'm gonna like." So you don't have to worry about this and go out and, and, and follow your dreams and go try to make the NFL. And like now, obviously, she's reaping the benefits of that. But that's that's bold. That's good that's stuff right there. That's, I think you're tied, down. you're tied down if you're Cooper Cup. You can't get out of that one. No, you want to be with that. Partners for life. You want to be with that one, though. Yeah, that's a real yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. That, that, love, that love was years ago. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Talk about an investment on her part. Like, I think Cooper's got the goods. I'm going to go ahead and put him through. No put doubt. Well, they were dating before. <laughs> they were in high school, too. Like, they knew. She knew. She knew. Talent evaluator, put her on the Saints. The Saints are good at talent. I know you don't. I know we already had this discussion. I know you don't like. You don't like the, the talent. Okay, well, I mean, a lot of guys out there that they can get that they don't have. Patrick Queen seems to be pretty good at football. I mean, he was a first round. Right, Saints could have had him. He's good. <laughs> yeah, Saints don't draft LSU players. No, they it's don't. Just, it's, it's not they a thing. Don't. They don't. I know. What, what did, how? I mean, it's just kind of ignorant at this point. It's not a thing. <laughs> just, so if Derek Singley's there, I'm not taking him. It's just no, it's not a thing. They're like, hey, you had Derek Singley ain't gonna beat on there, but it's yeah, dropping. He, he ain't going that far. Dropping as of now. Wait till the combine starts. Yeah. Wait till everything starts. They haven't seen him play in basically two years. He ain't going that far. He ain't dropping that far. No chance. No. Once he runs, he'll be a top five pick. Um, I'm hungry, boys. Y'all hungry? Jackson Mahomes. <laughs> Yikes. 
Where is he? I'm just thinking about like what you just said. Like the that's yeah. Just tough to watch. Yeah. I just don't understand how you. I just hate that he's six eight, it. man. I'm five eight. That's all. Like yeah. he's six yeah. six. Yeah, that's tough. What a waste. That's tough. I just don't understand how you don't say no. Stop. I just stop. wouldn't want to show up to someone else's. But I guess arena. you can't tell someone to stop. Like I just here's the thing. I wouldn't want to show up to someone else's arena, and try to be the show. Like no, that's what he's. You're not that, the show. Both of them are fucking it up that way. Like no one, no one's here to see you. No one yeah. bought a ticket to come and see you. So just be a part of the crowd. Or spray yeah. me with champagne. Just I don't be a part want of any crowd. of this. Just be a part of the crowd. They can't. No. Because not not in this day and age of TikTok. I mean, he's a TikTok superstar. Go do your TikToks in your living room. Why, I agree with you. I agree field? with you. I'm just saying <laughs> like why you he's doing it. All the time it. in the world, go do it in your living room. Why would you go here? I agree. I agree. I agree. Um. Okay. Off this. <laughs> I'm hungry. I just what are we, what I are we just, eating for lunch? What are we eating for lunch? Hold, I just don't know. If you can't let it go. Older, you can't let it go. If you're the older you brother, can't let it go. you have to sit down. Like, if I have an older brother, and he was like, dude, cut that shit out. I'd be like, absolutely. I'm so yeah, but sorry. You can tell him to do it, but it, it's about. No, if you what, do it again, you're not getting tickets anymore. You're not coming to the games. Like, I don't know how you're going to do it. Yet. Apparently, yeah. I guess Aaron Rodgers Brittany, did. his wife must be giving her ticket, him tickets. Oh, well, you're out too. Jack, that, to, that, 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 I'm ready to have that conversation. At that this one, point, okay. Yeah, we'll sit down, Brittany. Put a ring on and see what happens. He put a rock on it. Yeah, when that happens, it's over. You ain't do. You're not saying, oh, you're out. No way. No way. Well, no, you're in. You think, you think she's on a prenup? Oh, for sure. I don't they've been together since high school. You think she's on a prenup? I don't know or which sure. one's which. I don't know what. What a prenup means that you sign like the money that I you don't make. Think, I don't. Think, I really don't think they do. I don't think she signed it. I don't think she signed a prenup. Do you want to? I mean, if you think that they're like, yeah, I mean, most people with he, that much money would try to sign a prenup, but they've been together for so long that I don't think that he would have. I, I, wouldn't, I, be, I wouldn't be surprised at all if that, that was never really brought up between them. Yeah. Just seeing the dynamic of whatever they're like. I mean, they've been dating for so taken, long. Is Patrick just getting taken advantage of? No. No. If he's not signed a prenup. No, I don't no. think that's it at all. I just no, don't. It's just, I just, uh, just her awareness level yeah. is, if she was on Madden, her awareness level is... Well, it might be super high. high if she signed a prenup and gets to do whatever she wants. Like no, prenup. Right. If she signs a prenup, she can do whatever she wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one's which? If you don't if sign a prenup, signs, she's she entitled can. to everything, like yeah. half uh, of everything. She doesn't have. If you're enti- if you're signed, if you if you sign the prenup, then they can like they have they can. We want prenup. Kanye. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. He told you, gold digger. Yes, that's what that's for. Now she's not. She's because they've been dating since high school. So like I don't see that, but that's a lot of people do that and. The people that don't do that get a lot of good people get screwed. Yeah, they get to then they, they, the those game. guys get taken advantage of. Yeah. Okay. Lunch. Back to what I was saying. I'm hungry. What's for lunch? What's for lunch? What's for lunch? What are we eating? If you had a pick, oh, oh, Monday. Well, Did yeah, you have this, a big this, is our, this is our big issue. Uh, uh kind of. Because you got a base. Shirt. I got. I got. Look, Cancun's on Wednesday, boy. So. Oh, you can tighten up. Yeah, you I got. I got to go. I got to go. Little, so, I got to go healthy. I think you should go kid. pasta. No. <laughs> What I really would want, what out. I really would want to do if on a normal day, I would love to do Chiba Hut. Yeah, man, oh, dude, Chiba yeah. Hut is awesome. Yeah, but that's not good for me. We can go eat. It's lunchtime. You can work it out. Okay, Chiba Hut. You worked out three that's times today. You go three times today. It's lunchtime. You're right. You're right. That's that's right. Don't go Chiba Hut at nine thirty. I feel great. I feel great. Don't go Chiba Hut at nine thirty. You're okay. You're right. I feel great. I feel great. You'll come miss me. You'll come miss me. All right, we got what? One more segment left. We got the curtain call. And I'm throwing y'all under the not under the bus, but I'm putting y'all on the spot because I didn't get y'all to tell y'all prepare. I've been thinking of mine. Have you? Yeah. Oh, that's why. That's why I'm ready. So I'll go first because I don't think Jackson y'all have Mahomes. one. <laughs> Jackson Mahomes. Y'all have one. My current call. My current call is me Stafford and his wife. That he 13 years couldn't win the big one. Never got to the postseason. Never got to. The, now he's in the Super Bowl. I think he's a Hall of Famer. I hope he. I don't want him to win because I want Joey 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 B to win. But that's my current call. It Yesterday had to be tough for Jared Goff, huh? Yeah. That's a rough day. It's that's why they got him. That's why they got Matt Stafford, for that reason, to get to the Super Bowl. They did, and they did. That's, that's a tough day. So for I'll ask you the question. How much more games would the Lions win if just Cooper Cup went to Detroit and was Matt Stafford no. with Cooper Cup? No. I mean, it's not, not enough. It's, the, it's not, yeah. It's, not enough to make a difference. Yeah, there's, there's, more, there's more to it than just 2,000 yards receiving. Like, that helps. But, like, are you going to be able to get 2,000 yards receiving if Matt Stafford's on his back? You know what I mean? Um... So shout out to him. What you got? You don't have it. Who's yours? Trent Taylor. Explain. Punt returner for the Bengals. Uh, 
Louisiana guy. Went I was wondering who's that guy. Who is that guy? Really? Went, to, went to Evangel. Wow. Really? Look at you. Wow. With the, yeah. That was nice. He, he caught nice. the two point conversion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I, I didn't know who that was. And uh, I looked. I mean, I've always I've, I've followed this dude on Instagram because I played against him in baseball in high school. Okay. Wow. I didn't and, know that. Uh, he went to Louisiana Tech and uh, he was with the Forty ers for a little bit. I think he got hurt. Um, and this season, the Bengals picked him up, and I think he's been up and down like on practice squad. And uh, whoever was announced, I think Romo, somebody said that he was uh, on practice squad the, that day before yesterday. Why did he get? How did he get? Act, why did he get activated? Um, active, activated him for the game. He gets in. Someone get hurt. He's been, no, he's, been, sure. he's been a returning he's been, punt. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, but he's been returning was, punts. But that he, was the only play he played on offense was that two point conversion. Yeah. And they're like, this was that. put in just for this. And they said that the Niners should have called a timeout. Whenever he was in, it's like it's obviously going to him. He hasn't played a play on offense How yet. Awesome is that? And they put him in that sweet position. Yeah. He seems just like a like hypes everybody yeah. up, like plays That's his good, role he's perfect. A, he's like, a locker room guy. Yeah. Locker room guy. Big yeah. glue guy. Big, big glue, glue guy. Elmer's. Big glue guy. There you glue go. guy. Curtain call. That's my curtain call. I don't know if any of y'all have No, I have one. And it is, it is almost an anti-curtain call because okay. Sean McVay tried to ruin that game yesterday. Loses both of his challenges on things that he was too out or all out. That man looked like he was about to pop at the seams. Mm-hmm. With everything, he was looking at the SoFi like big screen like, well, here's another challenge flag. Here's another challenge flag. He goes into the fourth quarter with no timeouts left. Almost screws up his own team because he wants to beat Shanahan so badly mm-hmm. that he puts himself at the point like I'm smarter than everybody here. So anti curtain call to oh, anti curtain call anti curtain call to McVeigh, but the real curtain call is to the referees for letting the boys play. There you go. I it like was that unbelievable. I like that Did you see the fair catch crack back? Nothing called. Nothing. I like Taunting. That. Nothing called. I it was like just that. let these people play football the way that we want to watch yep. it. And they didn't get first, in the way. First, first drive of the game, Stafford gets hit. No, no yep. call. No Stafford. call. Stafford was, just Stafford great. was bleeding from every orbit. Oh, I love that. I love that. And, and, Stafford, and that was like the perfect flop, too. They hit him, and he literally went down on cue. No call. I don't know how much time Stafford has left. He got, he's like got over a lot. under two years for him. Not uh, you got, see that arm? He's got a lot. He's got more. I know, but he's so beat up. He nah, got, they got destroyed. There's a Detroit. good amount of meat left on the bone. Yeah, he's he probably, I think four. I say four to five. Four years? How old is he? He's the same Bro, as AJ Green. Thomas, Thomas rewritten right. what quarterbacks do, man. He's like I 30, think they no longer look at 34, 35? Yeah. 34, 35, maybe? I say five, six, somewhere in there. Three years. Ooh, I don't know if he plays a 40. 39. 39. I say, no, no, no. He's what is he, 33 right now? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I think he's like 32. He was he's gotta be, he's, he's like 31, 32. No, he's not he's a little me. Bro, oh, he was a freshman at he was a freshman at Georgia my junior year. And I was a young, I was a young junior. Okay, 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 okay. okay. It was him and AJ Stop Green there that me. year. Stop yelling at me. He's thirty-two. Is he? No, oh, I have no idea. He's thirty-one <laughs> or thirty-two. Siri. Maybe thirty-three. Thirty-three. There you go. Oh. Siri says that's seven. Okay, thirty-seven. Four years. I think <laughs> Andrew Whitworth and Sean McVay's dad are closer to age. Okay, wait. Another then, curtain call. Sean McVay's dad. How jacked is he? Oh, I didn't see him. You just see him in the booth? Oh, oh, okay, y'all get. I'll pull up the. They got good genetics. So. Another curtain call. Give Andrew Whitworth his flowers, huh? There we go. God. There you go. Okay. That guy there's was your, here. There's your curtain call. That guy was here 20 years ago, and he's still in the league. Jack, you got one? <laughs> George Kittle's dad for uh, Big Cat. Dad, did y'all hear that story? No. What? So George Kittle and uh, Barstool Big Big Cat. Yeah. Um, it, shout they're, out. They're boys. Shout out. They're friends. They're boys. And Kittle's always goes on the show. Well, I guess it was Bar. It was uh, Big Cat's birthday yesterday, so he texted um, George Kittle and said something about. Like, do something for my birthday or whatever. Like, score for my birthday. And Kittle responded and said, I'm going to dab for you. Because Big Cat always, like, makes fun of the dad. Yeah. I'm going to dab for you in the end zone if I get the opportunity. Score a touchdown, dab for him in the end zone. Oh, I love it. On national TV That's in the playoffs. Awesome. That's awesome. I love sick. It. Sick, sick, sick. So, I like that curtain call. I like that curtain call. Like You're Sean McVay's dad. Tim McVay. Tim? Look at this guy. Wow. Wow. You don't think that he puts off like the Junction Boys vibes? Wow, like, wow, 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 I like that. Good for you. Good for you. Just crushing Go ahead, give a curtain call, call to, I think it's the Rams GM too, on the stage. I don't know if y'all saw him on the podium last night. He was literally wearing some like $10,000 J's on the podium. I'm like, I think that's the GM. I don't, I don't like, know. Who's got, I who's I got the swag to wear that? that? I was like, wait. I don't think I noticed that, but hey, right in LA and the LA scene. I noticed it. And I'm like, well, I don't know, who, I don't know who that guy is, but he's got to be pretty important. That guy knows he's doing. I'm pretty sure it was the GM too. But look at the juxtaposition between the Browns. I mean, the uh, the Bengals owner, and then you have the LA owner. Like you got the the Bengals guy with the old school ten, like the the press hat essentially. Then you have the LA GM <laughs> with ten thousand dollars shoes on. It's like, who do you think's more invested in winning this thing? Mike, what is his name? Mike Brown, whatever. Yeah, Mike, is it Mike Brown? 
for the, for the the Bengals. He had no clue he was going to be on that stage. He had no interest in being a That's part of a no Super Bowl feel. winner. And he's like, oh, I guess we're going out here. Like, I don't know what to do. A lucky fit. And then you got some other guy from the Rams. Like, I expect to win the Super Bowl here. Putting on my ten thousand dollar J's. Like, getting strapped up for yeah, the game. Feeling nice. Mike feeling bro. sexy. Feeling good. And they're playing each other for the for the big one. He's good. Okay, he needs to R. I. P. That good, hat. We got some good curtains. No, he's bringing it back. No, man. That's, that's the, the Super that's Bowl. That's the dad hat that hang died. That hat, hang it up. Put it in the, in the archive. The driver so hat. The dad. Like the dad had that died. He was literally. Here's the problem though. They go back to. They win the Super Bowl. He's gonna have to bring it back. Yep. He's got to wear it this week. Good luck. He's got to wear it. Can't can't. Put that up. Can't can't mess with the good. See thing. if Joey B wears it, it's cool. That sure. hat will never be cool. Joey B will never, <laughs> will never wear that hat. No way. It, it's, it's like a, like a 1920s like yeah, little boy like, named Rory that's trying to sell you a newspaper. That type of hat. Oh, little yeah. Hello, sir. Like that type of. I like the hat. <laughs> you should go. We should get you the hat. I have one of those, bro. You should bring it next time. Man. Next time, I can't wait to right. see these jumpsuits. He's got I can't. Right I need to order some food. I'm hungry. I'm che- hungry. Chiba Hut. We're getting. We're getting Chiba Hut. We're Jersey Chiba Mike's. Hut. Uh, Chiba Hut. Chiba Hut. So <laughs> All right. Thank y'all for listening to Mike Dell. Brought to you by Sterling Automotive and Heineken. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Bing, bing. Keep dropping it in there. Bing, 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 bing. Uh, we will see y'all actually special edition tomorrow, three o'clock live, three to five. Lafayette boys, SDM boys are coming in. Walker, Howard, and Jack Oh, Betch. yeah, pump this, pump this. Pump I am this. pumping it. Yeah, yeah. Pump, We're going to be pump, pumping pump. it. It's social media. It'll be pumping. Uh, they're coming in tomorrow. I'll talk to him about Journey. Talking to him about my sister the babysitting band? Jack. When Don't he's stop little. believing. Huh? Huh? Journey? What? Huh? What? 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 Uh, and then I will be in Cancun. I'll maybe send some videos and do some stuff from Cancun. Maybe get some content. Huh? OnlyFans? I'm a content creator. I'm not. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> not OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out. Peace out. <laughs> On that note. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. See y'all tomorrow live Peace. with the boys. With the boys in the, in the 3 studio. PM, 3 Peace. p.m. 3, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. We're going to keep pumping it. Follow our social media. Mike'd out. Mike'd out.